This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. Red Hot Comic Book Movie News. Shooting up your butthole. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday. With me, as always, is my co-host, Nick Mason. Don't panic, everyone. I'm not don't, panicking. Don't I pa- wasn't. No, don't panic. I wasn't going to until okay. I saw all the newspaper headlines. that was like, society is doomed. St- eat all your cats. <laughs> okay, but did it say that the pop culture industry is going to run out of content? <laughs> well, some of it is, yeah. But mm. anybody who just has like a podcast that they do out of a spare room at the back. <laughs> still got of, plenty of content. Of oh, my God. We're, we're hermetically sealed out here we in the man cave. Are, so. Yeah. so obviously uh, everybody knows this in the world. <laughs> Literally everybody. <laughs> no, oh, my God. Okay. Everybody out here. We're going to tell you some stuff you probably already know. But if there's one guy out there who this is news to you, (laughs) email in. Let us know. (laughs) Because this would be fascinating. This is a fantastic social experiment. I think it's just good if we're all on the same page. I think so too, yeah. Uh There is a global epidemic. I mean, most of our podcast is just telling people stuff they already know. (laughs) That's true. Ultimately, you know. That they already read at comicbook.com yeah, or that's whatever. True. Uh-huh. Yeah, global epidemic, obviously, the coronavirus, everything mm-hmm. is shutting down, closing down, self quarantine, sometimes enforced quarantine, uh, et-, et cetera. Don't touch your face, which I did mere seconds ago. <laughs> yes, I put what, my finger I right in I also my eye. touched his face. I didn't mean to. <laughs> yep. There's just not a lot of room in here. <laughs> <laughs> when we make big gestures, we make big Italian gestures. That's right. Yeah, so this is basically the everything is cancelled episode of the show because it's just me listing yep. things, being like, this is cancelled. This is cancelled. This is cancelled. This uh-huh. is cancelled. So, did you see that video of it's in Italy? It's all the people that quarantine in the homes, but they're all on like their balconies and yeah. they're singing a beautiful song they're all making, a, making a pasta. Yeah. Okay, imagine that, but it's the Mentos music. <laughs> <laughs> fresh goes better with Mentos, fresh and full of life. Fresh goes better. I feel like there's a marketing opportunity there. That's yep. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I cannot in in a couple of months time. Mm. When there are things in the shops to buy again, sure, there's gonna be an ad of people just <laughs> everybody, everybody singing on their balcony, but it's for like insurance or whatever, yeah, like car insurance. You're absolutely right. Maybe that gecko that sells. Oh yeah, the the gecko, whatever. gecko, yeah. Whatever. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, so um, I hope everybody's safe as well. Me we too. we just put up. If you haven't got the Weekly Planet USB, which is entirely possible. Uh, we put up the Avengers Endgame audio commentary for free on Patreon. It's open. That's an open post, so you can just go down, go there and download it. And That's right. your life. So yeah, it's on Bandcamp as well if you want to Band go Bandcamp as well, there. yeah. So if you, if you do want to pay for it, but don't, obviously. <laughs> so just go through. Here's a blanket uh, rule. If you currently cannot leave your house... Due to, to, to some sort of viral infection, we really insist you don't pay for it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's right. Exactly. We have, you know, you're a captive audience. <laughs> But <laughs> that's good stuff, Mason. Mm, but yeah. uh, no, don't don't pay for it. As far as this goes, though, we're just gonna it's business as usual, I guess. Yeah, that's true. I don't. And uh, well, we talk about the movies that are cancelled. There'll be some changes to some scheduling, mm-hmm. obviously. But I don't. I think this is the least of people's. That's <laughs> true. And and uh, you know, and and generally speaking, I think you know it. And also, we we talk about this every once in a while. It's kind of tough if there's a big blockbuster movie every week. Yeah. And then we talk about a this big. This is block- the cursed monkey's paw of right. <laughs> I think we said like <laughs> really oh. We're so sick of it. And it's and it's kind of like, you know, we'll be like, we're going to talk about the new blockbuster movie. And a lot of people are like, well, I can't get out to the movies <laughs> for, for whatever reason. I'm busy. i got work. You know, yeah. movies are expensive kind of thing. So we're going we're gonna to have at least a couple of months, I think, of just being like, what's on the television? Let's talk about that. We'll just talk about Bloodshot again because it's the last <laughs> movie we, could, we were able right. to see. Yeah. And I think we were the only ones that saw it. Ma- by, yeah, by the maybe. Of our cinemas. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's get into it. Just I'm just going through things. Like there's updates to this. There's updates as this is happening. Mm-hmm. So things that I'll say here will probably change by the time this goes out. Oh, but no. this is just as of as of right now when mm. we are recording this. So Shang Chi was one of the earlier ones to be uh, postponed. Now that's being filmed. Being filmed in Australia right now. The director Destin Daniel Cretton was advised to self isolate. He has a newborn. Mm. Apparently this virus doesn't affect. Children, speaking of which, I'm having one in a couple of months, so it's, it's really exciting. So this is reverse <laughs> children of men. That's exactly right. Oh, no. All the babies. <laughs> the babies <laughs> take over. Oh, no. Yeah. There's going to be a boss baby. <laughs> There's going to be a gangster baby with a big cigar and a hat. Oh, my God. There's going to be an Immortan Joe baby, <laughs> yes. except they'll call him Young Joe. That's right. There's going to be a baby that pretends it's the last adult. Just three babies stacked together. Oh, my goodness. 
Wow. Yeah. Just imagine the movie Gremlins 2, all the different Gremlins. Those there'll be, are, a, those there'll are, be a baby th- one, yeah. There'll be a, yeah. There'll be a <laughs> one that's a bat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that gonna baby. Be, it's going to be crazy. So, yeah, that's because uh, we kind of were talking about last week what's happening with, you know, the, obviously, um, I was going to say Die Another Day. What's the new one called? <laughs> no Time, no to, time die. to Die. Yeah. No, it's called Die Another Day. <laughs> Make that a poster. <laughs> it's just die another day I now. I feel like that joke has run out of steam now, don't you think? Well, We've just hit die yeah, another day. James, you don't know how a running gag works. How a running <laughs> gag works is you do it a couple of times and it gets more funny and then you do it a couple more times and it gets less funny. And people complain. People start complaining <laughs> and then we keep doing it and then more people complain and stop listening to the podcast and unfollow you on social media. Then you keep doing it. And we've never gotten that far before. So <laughs> who knows what happens? I assume it gets more funny. I think, and we get, we get sent a million dollars. I think no, uh, Die Another Day is the perfect title for that movie now, considering yeah. what's, what's been happening. Mm. Okay, here's what I'm, I'm worried about, is that Daniel Craig is now in self-promotional hell. <laughs> because <laughs> or that's purgatory, I guess. His, his least favourite thing, I feel, about, even, even more so than being in these movies <laughs> and making them, is being on the, tra- the, the, the yeah. promotional trail and people asking him dumb questions all the time yeah. and comparing him to all the other Bonds and all this sort of stuff. And is there going to be... Uh, I know you definitively said this is your last Bond you're ever going to be in, but is there time for more Bond, more James Bond for Daniel Craig? Is he going to do more James Bond, considering it's, it's yeah. such a painful process for you? More James Bond? Anyway, it's going to be six more months of that, probably. This is going to be the year that Daniel Craig beats an entertainment reporter to death. <laughs> and I he predict. could. Did you see his ring? <laughs> oh, my God, Mason! Right? You mean his dick? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yes. <laughs> No, he's he's bod, right? Yeah, yeah, he's fifty now. He'd have to be, right? Something like that. Yeah, he's looking good. Yeah, I mean, there's they have they have some chemical assistance. Excuse um, me. Th- yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a hormone replacement. Like a carrot juice. Like a carrot juice, exactly. Oh, and good for him. Like testosterone, and because apparently yeah. your levels drop as you get older, and okay, right. whatever. Remember we got that insane <laughs> email. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. Yes. Okay. I read it out that live show. Yeah, well, I, I've lost the live show. The live show we did with Will and Charlie. Yes, I can't find it, oh, so no. I'm gonna have to hunt around for it. Oh, so it's still you didn't you didn't. Uh, it's it's not that it it deleted itself. No, you just, I, it's I it's lost physically it. somewhere in it's your somewhere house, somewhere, and I don't know where it okay, is. Okay, right, I'll figure it out. Okay, great. Uh, the other thing is uh, Jurassic World, uh, Jurassic Park World Dominion. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to take a two week break minimum. I was going to say, just side note: mm. Does Daniel Craig even take his shirt off in this movie? He'd have to, because yeah, otherwise, what are you doing it for? Uh, right. <laughs> His wife. Oh, yeah, you're right. He's yeah, doing right. For, I think he's doing it for himself, Mason. Yeah, maybe. Can't a man just look good for him? Oh, I know because people think that's that's sometimes lame and gay. You sure? take pride in your appearance. <laughs> it's true. Isn't there that theory that a lot of guys... You've, you've got a friend on Tinder, or Did, was on Tinder, uh-huh. who said a lot of guys are afraid to take nice selfies that's because right, they're yeah. worried that it means that they've put in any effort Exactly. If you take more than one... T- if you do more than one take... <laughs> it's usually just a guy with sunglasses in his car. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> taking a photo, uh-huh. yeah. Sorry, uh, you were saying. Uh, okay. Yeah, so Jurassic Park for three is but World 3, mm-hmm. whatever, it's been delayed. Two-week minimum, it's going to cost $300,000 for this particular delay. Oh. This could obviously extend. Uh, the other thing is, in terms of movies, Ridley Scott's The Last Duel. Do you know what that's about? It's the last is it a sequel to Duel? The, the <laughs> no, that the, movie about the haunted no, truck the or whatever it is? It's, it's the last What's that movie about? What's Duel about? Oh, it's, a, it's not a haunted truck. No, no, right? it's good. It's Spielberg's first movie or one um, that's true it was a tally movie <laughs> you say that as if it was before it was before George. that was very disdainful of all his work it's like his first movie no i was thinking about it as in like is it his first movie because <laughs> okay, right. it's i think it was technically has a it been on movie. vhs then it's a movie yes. so but it was a lot better than anybody thought it would be and okay. it's it is good it's about a guy who's harassed by a, a trucker Okay. It's Jaws, but it's a truck. Oh, and they have to keep driving the same road or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, oh, that truck's coming again. Yeah, that truck's coming again. They should have called it that, tr- <laughs> that truck's coming again. <laughs> yep. We're keeping the weekly plan Crikey. of posters busy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's isolation. You've got to do it's something, true, don't yeah. you? Uh-huh. He'll, he'll go mad otherwise. <laughs> yeah, we're helping, aren't we? So really, Scott, I was going to say it's one of those dual e-cigarettes. It's the last one on Earth oh, in the apocalypse. Okay, right. yeah. uh-huh. So what it actually is, this is a fun one. Former best friends Matt Damon and Adam Driver. Oh my all, god! In real life, yeah, that's right. Well, oh. I put they had characters' names with our French, so I just switched them. Okay, nice. Uh, are, are ordered to fight to the death after Matt Damon accuses Adam Driver of raping his wife in the fo- in 14th century France. I hope so, it's set in the modern day. But they go back in time. No, but the accusation is: you stay away from my wife in 14th century France. <laughs> you get out of it. I know what you did. <laughs> I know what you did hundreds of years ago. <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, that's that's well, not that's happening. Something. That movie I didn't know was, no. <laughs> was happening is not happening at the mm-hmm. moment. We're talking big events though. 
Uh, E3 is cancelled. It's astounding that we don't see because you know it's always like oh there's a new costume for Captain America we've seen it on the set footage we leaked the, you know the set foot we got the telephoto lens and we did it like where's the look at this photo of Adam Driver in ridiculous pantaloons <laughs> <laughs> he's got well, a hat with a feather in it yeah he's known for wearing his big old big ridiculous britches isn't right? he right he's known for it anyway I'm sorry you okay, continue no, no that's fine uh, no as no surprise to anybody as many events were E3 was cancelled mm. uh, Jason Schreier a video game reporter. He's, he's known for breaking great scoops and doing good journalism. Good for him. He did a really good article, I believe, on like the video game Crunch Period. Oh, yeah, that's it, right. I did, think I read that. Yeah, and yeah. he did one particularly on focused on Bio, Bioware's Anthem, where they, yeah, were, right. they were just like, we're just the Bioware magic is going to come together and like Knights of the Old Republic and the games of old, this is really going to become something at the end. Turns out that doesn't just happen <laughs> and it didn't and it's not a good game. But they still crunched? They still crunched. Okay, and yeah. people when they released the trailer for that for that game, the first one, it whatever event it was, people working on it went, oh, so that's what this is supposed to be. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Okay. It's a really good article. If you can find it, read it. If you can't find it. So does that mean there's, there's less crunch? Is there, is, is no, there's, there's still crunch. Okay, right. There's still, um, some comp- I know Rebellion, who did the Sniper Elite game, which I really like the Sniper mm-hmm. Elite games, they pride themselves on not doing it. But I know okay. The Last of Us, there was a thing this week about The Last of Us and how the, even though the game was delayed, it didn't lessen crunch. It's still... Happening okay, right. a lot. The guys who are doing the Sniper Elite games, I think they've released a game recently. It's a zombie hunting yes. game, but it's like the only way to kill these zombies is with a complicated sniper mechanic. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you is, see all their internal yes. zombie organs, we know you did a sniper game. <laughs> it, is, it is that. Uh-huh. Yes, you are right. But it's more close quarters run and gun uh, as well. Okay, right, yeah. right. Those Sniper Elite games, man, yeah, they're I remember good. Them, yeah. they're, I I've, remember. I've got, I played the most recent one. It's just. It's a solid game, man. Mechanically very good. And it's like it throws you into a little map. Mm-hmm. You do one little map at a time and you go on your little missions. Oh, yes. It's good. I really Shoot like your it. little sniper Shoot rifle. Shoot your little sniper rifle. Eat your little rations. Shoot a guy. Up yeah. in a bell tower. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I hope the man I'm going to shoot will arrive soon. But in the meantime, yum, yum. Nim, 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 nim. These are rare during the war. That's right. Ooh, duck la ronde. It's French rations. <laughs> Supposedly French yeah. rations, yeah. But apparently, though, according to Jason, Jason Schreier, Warner Brothers were going to talk about their new Batman game. Oh, there no. was that Court of Owls game yep. uh, that was going to be maybe a reboot to the continuity or a prequel. It's by the same people who did Arkham Origins. Except they had oh, more time. Okay, right. Because that game got because we did an episode on it. Like I hope that's what I, I hope that's how they ago. open it. <laughs> Like the E three, this it's the guys who did open Arkham Origins, but they've got more time. Got more and time. Like, Woo, it's way, it's way more better. Time. I think there is some good stuff in Origins. It's just not quite as polished. Yeah, I, I think there's some I agree. good boss battle stuff and there's some good story stuff, but and yeah. I also think they were kind of. They, I feel like maybe they were they were hamstrung by by the aesthetic of like it's it's fresh new Batman and he's yes. not you know he's not and as it's weathered. Snowing. As, yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. And it's snowing and it's snowing. That's yeah. True. yeah. Uh, they're also going to reveal that Harry Potter game that leaked a while back. You know, that third-person Harry Potter open-world adventure, maybe, in Hogwarts like 200 years ago. Oh, I've actually seen the leaked footage. Uh-huh. And whatever Rocksteady were doing, whatever that is, which is probably another Batman game also. I don't right. know. No, I don't know. I just had the idea of like a Harry Potter game, mm. except it's a side-scrolling beat-em-up in the style of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game. God. And you can switch between the characters? No, it's four-player. <laughs> Who's the fourth one? It's six Dobby. Pl- it's six player. Who are the six? It's six players because then they get to use that X Men arcade cabinet. Ah. That one, that old school one, had six players and they've never used it ever again. I Harry, Hermione, Dobby, not Ron, not Ron. Just to be clear, <laughs> how about we use the game as just all the Weasleys but not Ron? <laughs> okay, that's great. <laughs> the Weasley family's uh-huh. not Ron. Right. Those are. Did you ever play any of those remastered ones? Because they remastered the Simpsons and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, I never did. Get on the PlayStation Store oh. or whatever. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, but they're mostly the same kind of. It's more the. Oh yeah, for the sure. Flash, I mean, the, though, any any game like that loses a lot of its. Tension luster. and lustre coins when you don't have to sh- put yeah. a coin in every ten seconds kind yeah. of thing. Like the the thrill of those games is how long am I going to last before I'm killed and I have to put another coin in? Or a maybe. teenager just pushes me off. <laughs> exactly, that's right. A cliff. <laughs> yes. Um, you know those guys that would just hang out there, and it's like, are yeah. you even a teenager? Yeah, right. Exactly. Twenty three at the arcade right. pushing kids around. I know I'm quite young, and it's hard to determine your age, <laughs> but I think you're in your mid to late twenties. <laughs> I yep. Yeah, are you my dad's age? What's going on? 
Um, but yeah, like those games where it's just they're fun, like especially the Ninja Turtles game where it's yeah. like you're grabbing guys and you're, you're flinging throwing them guys. And you're they're robots. You're grabbing guys, you're throwing guys. They're yeah. robots or whatever. That's, That's right. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was on the side of the cabinet. Yeah, but they were all the same. Like it was that, and there's the Alien vs Predator and the X Men one that you mentioned. Mm-hmm. Like we did Captain America and the whatever. on the Avengers, yeah. We, we did that. There's an old Cabin of Garbage, or I think it was a Never Go Back. Now at this point, I can't remember. Mm. But yeah, they were mostly very similar. Exactly, yeah. Mm. But good stuff though. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Uh, the Little Mermaid remake was supposed to film in a week with Rob Marshall. That's not happening anymore. Oh. Uh, you wouldn't think anything would throw a spanner into the works of the Disney Corporation. Yeah. Here we are. Turns out, mm. this uh, off the back of that, there's some other Disney things that aren't happening. Had the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids reboot, or I guess sequel, because Rick Moranis is back. Yep. Mm-hmm. They're g- giving Peter Pan another go for some reason. Okay, cool. What What are they calling it this time? Pan? I think it's Peter, Peter and Wendy just or something Peter. like that. Yeah, just <laughs> Peter. Pete? P, yeah. Mm. Uh, Tur? Kurt Tur, yeah. Turp? <laughs> Look, we did Pan, and that didn't that didn't do well financially. We tried Peter, it didn't work, so it's now Turp. <laughs> we took the middle bit. <laughs> You believe a man could be called Terp? Yeah. Does that mean it's set in the middle of the movie? Like it's oh, an intercourse? Oh, good question. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Mm. It's set. Because Pam was the prequel. Yeah. Is it set? Hook was the. It's set. Sequel. It's set before Hook, where he's a grown-up man and he doesn't believe in magic anymore. Oh. So it's so just it's him impressing Japanese businessmen, which is what everybody's job was in the nineties in movies. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. You've got to yeah, impress yeah. these Japanese yeah. investors. He's really trying to he's, <laughs> he's really trying to make him make He him comes in and, and he bows, but they go to shake hands and is that like, well, no, no, no. they're like, yeah. no, they're both yeah. trying to be yeah. so accommodating. Mm. And then and and yeah, and he's he's just trying to get a have a normal job. Yeah. That's the whole it's very, very unfulfilling Terp. for him. Terp. <laughs> Terp. Terp. It's unfulfilling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, honey, I shrunk the kids. Not happening. Uh, home. Al- I said that. Home alone. He wants people to call him the torpedo. <laughs> That's his nickname. But they won't. They do won't it. do it because it's too awkward. <laughs> you want to say turd Pito? No, 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 no. <laughs> turd Peter? No, no. Look, it's oh, never mind. Uh, the Home Alone reboot is also not happening. No. So there you go. Uh, Variety's Justin Kroll is also reporting that uh, King Richard, the movie which is apparently happening, Matrix Four and and the Batman and Fantastic Beasts are going ahead as of Monday, but the situation is fluid and could change, but Warner Brothers is not planning on shutting down production based on Disney's decision. Uh, but since then, mm. Batman has now been put on hold for oh a couple no. of weeks. Yeah, A couple of weeks. Okay. They're going to move it to Liverpool or something, and then they were like, let's just let's okay, not. Right. Yeah, right. What do you think the uh, – the somebody's going to be like, well, if we we take advantage of this, we can we can have the only movie that comes out. Like when, when, the, when mm. this – is over. That if we get in first, we'll have the first movie that comes yes. out after after all this. I isolation. think that's what Bond probably was backing out as yeah, well. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm. So, do you think people? Are, I mean, I will be well, once this all shakes out. I'll sort of be fascinated to see what how these movie studios adapt to this. Like, some people are gonna, you know, cancel and postpone. Some people are gonna be like, let's green screen everything. Yes. Let's let's, let's build. So I it, like it surprises me that Disney hasn't gone. Let's biodome this. Yeah. Let's biodome it. Let's build a hermetically sealed studio yeah. filled with green screens, and you have to like airlock your way in and out, mm. and and put on your pantaloons or what yes. have you, and and go in there and film. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's not a. Yeah. I mean, a lot of those movies will probably be bad. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I want though. Yeah. Right. Bad movies. Yeah. Well, I also think what what's going to be interesting is what's the first of the movies that are being delayed, which we'll get to, which is going to go to streaming. They just go. Yeah. And I think that's going to change a lot of things, not just for now, but down forever, the line. Forever, forever more. Forever. 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 Yeah. Because uh, speaking of Mulan uh, was put on hold. Uh, it, oh, release-wise, yes, because yes. it's going to be out next week. It's going to be out next week. I mean, spe- oh, speaking of, just just side note, because mm. I was in the, the movie theatre this week. Yeah. And... It's taunting us. I so there's a there's a little like <laughs> flashing like they got a big screen in the theater of like all the upcoming movies yeah. and the new mutants. Oh yeah, we're getting has, to that. has been delayed yet again. Absolutely, we it were has. so close. Here it was going to be April the 9th. If anything goes to streaming, yeah. it's that right? Yeah, I don't know. I just <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's. Uh, did they film in 2016? I don't. 2017. Know. I don't know. Who knows at this point? What if it's good? It might actually be good. Might be all right. Yeah. Apparently, some people are like, I saw a. a 
And, and the, there's apparently the most recent trailer is quite good. I didn't watch it. No, I didn't. Like, I don't need to watch any of this yeah. anymore. I'll watch it when, uh-huh. if it comes out. Right. Enough of this hyping myself up for this amazing movie I've been <laughs> looking forward to for uh-huh. 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, Milan, though, it's not going to go to Disney Plus, apparently, because it's, it's such a huge production. Right. Uh-huh. So it's in there, but if they want to make their money back on that, they're going to have to wait and release yeah. it in internationally. Right. Because they and need, because they already lost China. Yeah. So. And, and you know, everybody who signed up to Disney Plus for The Mandalorian and other bits and pieces, there's there's not enough people out there who are like, well, I didn't sign up for that, yeah. but I will sign up for Milan. But I do wonder if they release it like a movie ticket you buy through Disney Plus. Uh-huh. Not that necessarily, but if it's New Mutants or whatever, they go. You pay 20 bucks. You pay 20 whatever. bucks and you can have this. Right, yeah. Right, right, right. I don't, I don't know. I'm yeah. just, because what they did do, they moved up Rise of Skywalker a couple uh-huh. of days. Yeah. And they also pushed Frozen 2, which was supposed to be out in three months on Disney Plus now. Oh yeah, that's true. So they you did, do yeah. want to watch Frozen 2, Mason. I watch Frozen 2. Then I hear it's not as good as the first one. I don't think so. Okay. Well, according to Claire, it is. Here's the thing, though. I feel like if you, if they say, listen, if you pay 20 bucks and you get to see New Mutants on Disney+, Plus, mm. then they're going to make 20 bucks because as soon as one person watches it, they can just cam well, it that's the in other the, thing, in the yeah. secu- safety and security of their own home. Yeah. Unless, unless Disney sends men with night vision goggles to everybody's house, which I can't rule out, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, sure. In hazmat suits. But, like, if you can see the screen, yeah. you, there's people out there. I, You know what? There's people out there already, like, building a TV mount for their camera. <laughs> yeah. Just, they can just have a perf- well, with perfect clarity. You can just screen capture. Well, that's screen true. Screen yeah, yeah. software. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. Yeah. I've done it for stuff that I've had. Remember that Shazam caravan of garbage? Yeah, right, right. I don't know what kind of crazy fucking software that had on it, but I couldn't get the, the video files off the disc, so I just ended up having to screen record it yeah. using a capture card. Yeah. Well... Well, I never. Yes. <laughs> oh. I didn't want to get you involved. I didn't want to make you complicit. <laughs> well, now you have, haven't you? And I have to report you to the authorities. <laughs> hey, guy I, over there with the night vision goggles on. James did this. I actually bought the DVD, yeah, though. Because I, yeah, I even tried to, like, there must be, like, torrents of this. And they were yep. all dog shit. <laughs> so I had to, I, they were, like, VHS scans or something. Yeah, so right. I had to buy and a nightmare for a thing that I didn't really enjoy doing at all. <laughs> but at least everybody in the world watched it. So. That's true. Everybody in the world did watch it. Uh, Quiet Place 2 has also been pushed back. Uh, John Krasinski released a statement it's like because of global whatever and mm-hmm. I want this to be a thing that people experience in cinemas and so on. Mm-hmm. So that's happening. Uh, the that's other thing- a, the, I was going to say that Look, it, it it may may also be in poor taste, but I did laugh. Somebody on Twitter, mm. I wish I had their... I, I didn't retweet it, but I should have. Somebody put up a... Somebody was like, hey, I've, don't worry about the coronavirus, guys. I got this. And it was just a whiteboard, like the Quiet Place whiteboard. And it was like, coronavirus, blah, blah, blah. What is the weakness? You know that? <laughs> you know that one? Yeah, I, I was looking forward to that. Yeah, me yeah. too. Uh, also, Marvel's, uh, not Marvel's, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier has been delayed. No. Uh, Razzies are out. I've been postponed. You're going to have to shit? hold on to our... Falcon and Winter Soldier secret. Very Our true. Hot scoop from even, even longer. longer. Can we hold out? Yeah, yeah probably. I'll, I'll probably I'll forget it. <laughs> uh, Supernatural is, is suspended production. So yeah, it's all Grey's Anatomy. What are they doing? Well, they're already equipped, aren't they? That is very true. <laughs> yeah. Wait, they're, they're not. They're not real doctors, are they? Well, they might have to become real <laughs> doctors. <laughs> I don't mean to panic everybody. They might get trapped in the hospital. They have to become real doctors, but all their equipment is prop equipment. <laughs> Just they blood, might become the best yeah, doctors. Blood scalpels. Right? <laughs> yeah. They might all they they might all leave, and then and they're like, "Were well, you guys okay in there?" And I'm like, "Yeah, but we've got the cure to coronavirus because we had to do it with like plastic scalpels." Yeah, and- absolutely. Uh, speaking of, and this isn't to panic anybody. I was speaking to the doctor. Well, I'm panicked already, honestly. Speak, yeah, no, it sounds bad, Don't open with it? that. I don't mean to panic uh, you, yeah. but... No, I was speaking to a doctor that oh, I know. I oh, yeah. uh, works in a hospital. And he was saying that they called a staff meeting. And they were like, if this is going to be the busiest six months of your so life, you better probably. listen to the Weekly Planet podcast. <laughs> yeah. It's in all your podcast platforms. Yeah, you have to listen to it. They haven't done that video feed that they've been promising for two years. <laughs> that's right. We, you don't, have to we, don't, we don't have any yeah. updates on that, that's unfortunately. Yeah. But you can put your wireless headphones in <laughs> under your scrubs, under your, under your mask, no one will notice that's right. while you're doing a surgery. <laughs> so it's fine. So that if they get the coronavirus, yes. the doctors, mm-hmm. they just have to put on hazmat suits and go back to work. Wow. And uh, off the back of that, if they get so bad that they can't work, they then they can go home and rest, but then they have to come back as soon as they're a little bit able. It's not really a panic thing. It's just more of a 
you know, that's kind of where they're at. Mm. They're preparing for the worst, not that it's necessarily going to be the worst. More well, it is because they're listening to the Weekly Planet true. podcast, so it is going to be the worst. The idea is it seems to be that the more people stay at home, the less this is going to spread. Because it's not about you. And, I know because people are like, well, why can't I go out or whatever? I'm healthy. Yeah, but do you know somebody that you don't want to die? James is just segueing into a thing he said before the podcast started. <laughs> yes. It's I seamless, know. but I noticed I it. Know, I didn't, uh, look, I didn't mean to... But I'm just, I just don't understand it. It's not about whether or not you're going to get sick. And yes. If you're, uh, you know correct, somebody yes. who who has an ailment or is elderly, or even if you don't, yeah. maybe maybe you just exactly you might have that. you might have it, but you're not displaying any mm. symptoms. But you could give it to somebody who will then uh, in, be in a very bad way. Exactly. So anyway, so and I know at the end people are like, well, at the end that was a big beat up over nothing. Hopefully it is. Yeah. Hopefully this all well, the quarantine. And usually that's because everybody because people quarantined, stayed at yeah. home. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's it. I don't know, man. I just don't understand. Like, just just listen to the Weekly Planet just, podcast. That's all you need. <laughs> it's all you need. Medical <laughs> professionals, if you're out there. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is uh, Disney parks have, have closed. Right. That's uh, the Grand that we had a Melbourne Grand Prix is done. Mm-hmm. Uh, cinemas are either cl- around the world are either closing or some are selling half tickets to reduce the number of people to come in. Ah. Not that there's that much opening at the moment anyway. No, that's true. And, uh, of course, the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Or you can, or you can watch half the movie. Yeah. Everybody can stay there. <laughs> you can watch half of Bloodshot. Yeah, or you can, oh, yeah, and then you can leave, yeah. And yeah, it. the Melbourne International Comedy Festival is cancelled for yeah. the first time in 30 years or something so like that. So we know a lot of people, obviously, the Planet Broadcasting Network and just people that we know who have comedy shows which are affected by this because it's a large chunk of their income. Yeah. It's not the saddest thing in the universe. It's obviously happening at the moment. There are people obviously worse off. Yes. But uh, for the, the, there's a number of people on the, our network who had shows coming up. Yeah, to in the think tank, and it's an investment. You pay on, you yeah. pay a lot of money to be in the festival yes. and, and promote it and and hire a venue and all this sort of stuff. Yep. And then I don't know, I don't know at this point because the, the announcement was made on a Friday afternoon, so we don't know yeah. who is who, what, how the refunds are working. Do they get their money back, etc.? But it's this big investment, and then hopefully what happens is they sell enough tickets to to make a profit on that. And so it's kind of it's it's everybody over this weekend is kind of in limbo. Is like, am I going to make? Am I going to get my money back or exactly. am I going to just lose thousands of dollars? So Yeah. So just looking at the list, this is just the people that we have in the network. Uh, so it's Do Go On, Do You Know I Am, which is, you know, Josh Earl. Uh, Steel Wars go on this year? Uh, no, I don't think so. But okay. he's in town, I think. So we should say oh, hi cool. to him. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know he's in town. Uh, to in the Think Tank are doing a comedy, uh, a sketch yeah. show. Some of these also are going to be uh, – have. Uh, some of these guys have mentioned that they are going to be maybe moving it to later on in the year. Yes. So everybody should probably look out yep. for that. But yeah, uh, uh, Teleport is, is yes. the show, yeah. Uh, Jess, per- per- Jess Perkins and Matt Stewart from Do Go On. Uh, Will Anderson is doing three different shows, or it was doing three different shows. Mm-hmm. What I'm going to do, a lot of those people, I think, have Patreons. Uh, I'll, I'll link that below if you want to listen to the shows or Yeah, uh, for sure. Some, um, I mean, that's that's one thing you can do, especially if you are mm. currently quarantined. If you, if you haven't listened to any of these podcasts, mm. I might recommend some more later. But, uh, yeah, if, if you just want to get a handle on these guys, maybe yeah. just listen to their podcast, tell a friend, nice review, yeah. sign up to their Patreon, whatever you want to do. Because we'll be fine, Mason, won't we? Yes. Because we're, we're incredibly successful and we would never have a live show. We'd never lean on it, would we, Mason? <laughs> no, that's true. We would never be so bold. <laughs> no, we yeah. certainly wouldn't. No. Because <laughs> so, we're cowards. Because we're cowards. That's exactly yeah. right. So, yeah. if you And want that's to why we're living people. through this. Mm, cowardice. Right. Cowardice. That's what gets you through in the mm. end, isn't it? Yep. So that's most of the things that have been... Uh, that's how you get through a zombie movie, cowardice. It is. Yeah. Until one's in the... In the backseat, yeah. Backseat, yeah. That's mm. it. So that's uh, and that, that's all of the things. Yes. So w- we're talking about the the Bloodshot movie now. Yes, aren't we, we are. Yeah. Uh, it was. It had an eight. To t- it's going to have an eight to ten million dollar opening on a forty five million dollar budget. Whether that be a result of quarant- self quarantine or because people weren't going to see it anyway, mm-hmm. who's to say? I'd say it's probably both. Sure. Uh, does that su- does that surprise you that it had such a low opening? No, because I have not seen any advertising for it. Yeah, I think other people have seen a little bit, but I it's not a, not a darn thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So it's directed David S. Wilson, who's worked on a lot of uh, visual effects stuff and CGI cutscenes for uh, Kotor. He's done worked oh. on Bioshock, Force Unleashed two, worked on Age of Ultron special effects for that. He also did the uh, he also directed the short. Film Sunny's Edge from Love, Death, and Robots. Oh yeah, right. So he's, he's got a background in, and that kind of comes through. I feel in 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 this. But what do you think the story was? Oh no, <laughs> you got me, James. James, you got me. I did, didn't I? You got me. I never know when it's going to arrive, but usually after a long spiel, <laughs> where you're trying to distract me. Maybe I should start the spiel and then just 
Yeah, right. Or even before I say what movie we're talking about, right. I just launch straight into it. Maybe I get uh, you before the show. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, re- I, I record you on my phone. Ah, oh, <laughs> yep. Nice. Classic yeah. prank. Okay. <laughs> That's is, a good is, prank, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, anyway, is a guy, his name's Bloodshot. No. No, he is, though. Bl- not his name. His name's not like Jason Bloodshot or whatever. It's Mr. Blood's Hot. <laughs> okay, sorry. And they right. combine it and then it's a cool <gasps> code name. Yeah. So Mr. Blood's Hot because he <laughs> runs so hot because he loves. A couple of things. He loves America. He loves a beautiful woman. Yeah. He loves shooting terrorists. Yeah, he does. He's in the army or something. The Marines? I don't know. Or something. Special forces. We don't really know. We don't know. Navy SEAL? Yeah. Definitely one of the ground guys. Bit of an unreliable narr- narr- narrator. I yeah, think. anyway, yeah. Uh, his, uh, his, his uh, wife is killed by the terrorists, but then, and he's killed by the terrorists. <laughs> Side note. And then. And then they bring him back to life. And then. And he's got cool powers. And then they're like, Blood's hot. Yeah. <laughs> what if we? <laughs> what if we? Ooh. Mm. So yeah, he's got it's his hot Latin blood. Is that's what it is. right. Also, Vin Diesel is in this movie. Also, Vin Di- what do you think of Vin Diesel in this? I don't you, mind him. You had a. You had a. Last week, you were like, "Why would you build a super soldier out of a fifty-year-old yeah. man?" Uh huh. Do you still find that the case to be? They're good at cutting away. <laughs> yeah, I think he's pretty convincing. And I thought you were going to hate this movie. Do you hate this movie? I didn't love it. I can't say I hated it. I didn't mind it. I yeah. think it's pretty good. I think if this is the last, if this is the last movie I get to oh see, oh my in god! The if cinema, this is the last movie, Mason, I will shoot myself. <laughs> if this is the last movie, <laughs> if the, James, your blood's so hot about this movie. If if this is the last movie I get to see in cinemas for like six months, I'm I'm okay with it. Like no. it's, I wasn't like this is what a waste of my I time. I want to go out on Milan or Black Widow or a Quiet Place. Uh-huh. <laughs> Come on, <man. laughs> Imagine, I don't want this to be the last bit of entertainment media I consume in a cinema. Not ever. Yeah, but you never know how bad things oh, are going to go. Oh, no. Not I to panic everybody. No, I don't think it's, that's going to be the thing. I don't think it is at all. Yeah, I know. But I think here's the thing. I think about this movie. Okay, if you didn't know, if you hadn't watched the trailer prior That's this, a massive problem. I think you would yeah. be pleasant. I, I especially, and I think other people would be pleasantly surprised by this. Yes. So if you haven't, if if you are, okay, here's the thing. If you are in a location where they're letting you still go to the cinema, or the cinemas are still open, yep, and you can go, maybe maybe check the ticket booking website before you go in, and if there's like nobody else there, and you can be like, I can be the only person in the cinema. How many people in shot. your cinema? Like three people, I think. It was me, yeah, and another guy who was on his own, Sitting and in next front to of you. him, no, <laughs> and in front of him was another guy that was on his own. But yeah. it also looked like they were. Re- one of them was the other one's dad. It was like, I nearly took a photo, but like, you shouldn't take photos of people you don't Because they physically look the same. Yeah, but like okay. one was older. You think they were... And I'm like, am I am I in this line? So if somebody took a photo from behind, am I like the oldest? <laughs> yeah, right. And, kind of, and they get uh-huh. younger. <laughs> Do you th- you know, so you don't think they were an estranged father and son team? <laughs> they of like been. YouTube reviewers. It's, it's, maybe, they'll, maybe they really got into Bloodshot in the 90s as a father and son team. Yeah. And now they review <laughs> movies, but they're having a falling out. And so they don't speak to one another. But yeah. they will get together to watch the, the to do to review it on YouTube. Yeah, mm. I tried to get them to make up at the end of the movie, but they were, they oh, didn't. Yeah. They pretended okay, they right. didn't know what I was talking. Anyway, about. my point is that if you can see this movie safely, yeah, uh, I've lost my point. Oh yeah, don't don't watch the trailer. Yeah, because this movie is quite interesting in that if you watch it initially, you'd be like, "There's a lot of cliches in this." Yes, but there's a reason for that. Yeah. Uh, but if you watch the trailer, you know what that reason is. Yes, so which makes it way less interesting. Because he's like, "Oh my god, I love my guns and my girl, and I mm. love. Oh my god, it's so everything's everything's so romantic. Mm. I'm taking my shirt off. I'm showing you my my vest. Oh my god, he, he's in his vest in about four minutes. No, it's, it's <laughs> his. Uh, no, it's his. His white singlet. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. Yeah, is that a yeah. vest? Some people call it. In, in England, you'd call that a vest. Get the fuck out of here, England. <laughs> get the fuck out. Yeah, of Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> no, I don't buy that. Yeah, that's his look, though, isn't it? That's true, yeah. yeah. He's, he cannot wait to get out of his army fatigues oh and just God. throw him away and then and kiss his gal. What did you think? <laughs> he's, mm. waiting for, he's waiting for him at the... Mm. Yeah, it was like a Michael Bay get off the plate and your girlfriend's yeah, waiting right. there in a sports car or whatever. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah and we'll talk about that. But uh, I, think, I think the supporting cast was good on the whole. Yeah, we've got... Uh, we've got I like the, his guy in the van guy a lot. I like the Guy Pierce guy. Uh, yeah, he's guy in the van. I, I really, I thought he was quite funny. Yeah, because he's from New Girl and other things. Oh yeah. yeah, the guy in the van guy can often be. They exist on a knife edge. Makes or breaks. Makes or breaks of being like, oh, this guy's. A, I like this guy, or this guy's profoundly annoying. Mm. They can skirt the line often because yeah. they don't often. They don't often have a lot to do, 
And they can also often be put in the position of like, I'm saying a wacky thing to the hero, and the hero's like, hey, shut up. I'm doing I'm doing stuff. Shut up. English, moron. English. You know, shut up and look at the screens in the van. <laughs> but it, sometimes they have, they have to go out and do some action, and they're not, they're not quite ready for they're it, are ready, they? That's ready not what it. they signed up that's, for. That is some of my... When it, that's not what they, they no, weren't ready for that. Look, I'm... just a guy I'm, I'm supposed a, to be in the earpiece. <laughs> but now I am the earpiece. <laughs> Uh, now there's another guy. It's not what I signed up for. Who, 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 who do I talk to if I'm out here? Who's on the earpiece? <laughs> another guy? Different guy? The janitor? Yeah. Some of my favorite episodes of TV shows are when the, the guy in the van, the to, guy in the van has to go out of the van. Yeah. It's really good. Don't they do it in Simon Pegg is the guy in the van, and then he becomes an a full, agent, a full in, guy who's not a full in a guy. van. He does not in a van. Who's the guy in the van then? I guess they take Bing turns. Ding Rames. Yeah, I guess he's the guy in the van. Who's the guy in the van? Get Jeremy Renner back. Yeah. He was he was in Alias, those movies. there was a great guy in the van. Yeah. He had to go. There was a there was speaking of lockdowns, there's an episode where they're all locked in their headquarters bunker situation, yeah. underground bunker. Mm. And and there because there's a there's, I think there's a virus, I don't know. <laughs> and and he has to go out and he has to he has to go out, go out in the field. And they coach him. It's fun. Is he all right? Yeah, he does fine. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, he did fine. I'm not normally I'm not, I'm this not normally is not the kind of guy I'm there. Yes. <laughs> he comes up to like security checkpoint and they're like papers, please, and he's like, I'm not normally the guy in the field. <laughs> And they're like, just let him through. He's clearly having an issue. <laughs> He's like, yes. Yes. I made it. He's made it. Uh, I think there's some spectacular action scenes in this. Yes. And there's some other ones, which is just CGI men falling over each other. Yeah, that's true. That's It feels I'm, video game cut CD. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, given that you've just, what did you say? It was 40, cost $45 million. Yeah. That's not, that's, it's looking pretty good. Like mm. this is, this feels more like a Deadpool in that they've got a limited budget and they know yes. what works and they know when to spend the money and when not to spend the money. Yeah. There's, there's a moment in particular where he goes into a tunnel and there's a flower truck and the flower yes. truck explodes mm -hmm. and then everything's covered in flour. Yes. And then he does these action scenes uh -huh. and they're like chipping away at him and his nanites are reforming his face and whatever. And I think that that's the highlight for me. Yes, but also the crashing of the flower truck, does it looks kind of bad. Yeah. That's one of the CGI. Yes. It's not a, it's not a real truck crash, it's a CGI. Yes. Truck crash. Truck crash, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, it's Vin Diesel versus another guy with eight arms or something. <laughs> and um, and they're just falling off an scaffolding. Octopus. Yeah, an octopus. He's fighting a, an octopus in an aquarium. <laughs> I never felt though, but it's got extra metal arms. Yes, it's got twelve arms. Yeah, right. But I never felt that he was in any real danger. And we'll talk about that more in spoilers. But his powers are so beyond the other people that he's facing. Right. Yes. It's, it's like, well, this guy's got extra arms. Uh -huh. So. You could unload a shotgun into this guy's face and he's fine. Right. Yeah. yeah. But that being said, like I think, I think the rules are better defined than I thought that they would be. I th and I think the the guys, what I appreciate in this movie is it's, it 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 harkens back, James. I'm ready to X Men One in that you've got a couple of guys mm. who don't have the greatest powers, but they they know what they're doing with them. Sure. Like one of the guys has the you know he's the He's got bionic legs, yeah. And there's one guy who's got like, um, Let's see everything. Like he's got enhanced vision or whatever. I like and, that. Yeah. And he can, you know, he can he can use traffic cams and drones and all that yeah. sort of stuff. And so if you you put him on a motorbike, he's a yeah. He's a great like chase guy because yes, he's never going to get hit by a car and he's never going to hit a pedestrian a woman or anything. And you can hold her breath or whatever. Hold her breath a long time. Yeah. Yeah. And mm. Guy Pierce has got a robot arm. He's got a robot arm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's cool. I think. Yeah. yeah good robot stuff. That's a good looking robot arm. But no, I think the end fight is it does look like a video game cutscene of guys tumbling down scaffolding and yep. being like, uh, what's going on here? That's true. And whatever. Anyway, should we do spoilers? Let me think. Is there anything else I can say without spoiling this? Uh yeah, it looks good. Good performances. Pretty pretty solid. Good think, performances? Well, you know. Performances. Performances, definitely performances. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say no, there's nobody in this that's bad. I would yeah. say that. But it's and not like, wow, look at the acting. No, and then, but then nobody really has to. And I think Vin Diesel actually does quite well in this. Mm. Like he gets he gets mad. Yeah. But you don't you don't often see him No, he does it. Does he? Yeah, remember when they took his son or something? Oh uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> in pretty good. One of those movies. Yeah, 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 you're He'll right. He'll do it. Yeah, I reckon pretty solid all around. I'm gonna say worst movie ever. I'm gonna say best movie ever. Mm. Yeah, I, this it and for me it is a shame that the trailers didn't help my decision. Well, the trailer, yeah, for out. sure, yeah. exactly. Yeah, look, don't don't watch the trailers. It's a shame that this has come out. I think this might have been a little bit of a sleeper hit at a better time. At a better time, yeah, you might be right. And that and this that's and a it shame. Might go, it might go on to yeah, do that because yeah. I wouldn't. I want. I would kind of want to see another Valiant movie. Me too. Who was behind? Do you know who paid Sony for this? Sony did this. But okay. they're, now their properties, I think, are scattered. They were initially going to do a universe, but now I think 
Some of the, we've talked about it recently, but okay, some of the rights right. went. They okay. Can't. Well, if all the rights if all the rights were together, I wouldn't put it past him trying with another one, like another. I agree. Valiant property, but I guess now. Yeah. Who knows? Who does know? But I mean, also potentially, what happens here is all the quarantines are lifted, and there's not another movie coming out for six months, mm. and the only movie in theaters yes. is Bloodshot. That's right. So people will just have to watch Bloodshot again and again and, and again, it'll and, beat again and again and again and again. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, mm-hmm. that's the dream. Uh, spoilers. Yeah, spoilers. So it turns out that his memories are not his own. Yeah, which we know from the trailer. Yeah, that's what they put that's it what in. They there. said in the trailer. Yeah. But it's I, I went beyond what I remembered from the trailers in that even his origin story of how he became Bloodshot is fabricated. Yes. So we don't really know where he's from. That's true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah because which I liked. So that, so yeah, yeah for, so uh, how 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 this whole system works is he was a. He believes he was a special forces soldier. Uh, he kills some terrorists. They come back and they kill his wife and then they kill him. Yep. And then he's brought back as Bloodshot uh, with his superpowers and then he then with no memories, but then he remembers that that particular terrorist killed his wife. So yep. he goes on a revenge mission to kill him and then they shut him down and they replace the memory of the guy who killed his wife with a different guy yep. uh, and then reset everything. And then he, when he wakes up, he remembers and he goes on a revenge it's mission. It's memento. It's memento, exactly, yeah. With Guy Pierce. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, and that, that continues for some time. Yes. Uh, yeah, and so so the idea is that Guy Pierce, evil scientist who created some of this technology, wants to eliminate everybody else who who has knowledge and access to the mm. to that technology. And so he's just going through them all. What, the interesting thing about this is one of the henchmen – the guy with the legs, yeah. the metal legs, he's really he really hates Bloodshot. Yes, there's there's not a real motivation for that. It's just that he's had Jealousy. to do he's just had to do this like four times. Yeah, I, if I'm if it was sick of this if it was guy. like we've had to do this every day for yeah. for five years, he's mm. killed hundreds of people, and I keep having to go through this weird memory theater yeah. with this guy. I don't understand why you're mad, but he's like we've had to do this to, to yeah. kill five you can guys. Tell by how, five many, guys. how many chewing gums he sticks under the thing? Yeah, yeah, right. Uh-huh. I enjoyed the bit where they they rig him on the phone for the second time, and he's like, "Where are you going?" And he's like, "How are you talking to me?" And he's just like, "Oh, this fucking guy again." <laughs> Like every time with this We shit. told you about the nanites. Come on. It's just come on guys. Oh. So no, I really enjoyed that it wasn't just they got him from an accident. Yes. And they deleted some memories. They basically rebuilt his entire origin. Yeah. So we don't know what his origin is. Mm-hmm. And he I guess he just broke up with his girlfriend because he sucks a bit. Yeah, that, or, yeah or it seems that way. Oh no, it's cause he he always because he kept He kept doing missions. He kept doing So I guess he was a salt. We know that he yeah, was so, well, I, I yeah, he'd have to be because he's yeah, but yeah. his 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 ex girlfriend or or wife was like, okay, you keep you keep going away on these dangerous missions. I can't deal with it anymore, so we're breaking up. But yeah. in his mind, they got married and, and yeah. were still together. So mm. and then that, I thought that was a great scene where yeah. he goes to visit what he thinks is his wife, and she's like, what? Why is is there something wrong with you? What's happening? What's <laughs> yeah. going on? Yeah, I agree. You I got the blood's hot. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I because at the start because they they kill her, mm-hmm. they fridge her basically. Well, see that's exactly, and I'm like, yeah. fuck this really? Yeah. But it turns out that the reason for that is because it's a cliche. It's a cliche that they was built into it, and, and apparently it works on people. Yeah, yeah. and because it, it's basically it, they're reenacting a scene from Reservoir Reservoir Dogs. Like it's that kind of like oh, yeah, yeah, a yeah, pop yeah. song, and you're tied to a chair, and you're being tortured. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's just well, that. that's interesting because. We spoke about when we talked about the Invisible Man. There was a there was a couple of people in my theater who mm. were like, "This was in the movie as I was expecting. I'll leave." I wonder how many people again mm. will go into this movie and go, oh, "This is cliche." I don't. Yeah. I'm, I'm sick of these movies where it's a guy dancing around a psycho killer and then he kills somebody. Yeah. I'm gonna leave, and I wonder, I wonder how many people would just go without. Yeah. Uncovering the rest of this movie. How many do you think? One thousand people. Wow. Yeah. 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 So, three hundred screenings in wow. this movie. Yeah. Yeah, that's incredible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it feels like the memories that they left for him were also the ones that meant that he was a bit of a renegade. Because you know, at the start, he storms that mm-hmm. the the terrorist facility oh, yeah, or whatever, yeah. and they're like, "Don't go in," and he goes in by himself. Mm-hmm. And then later, it's that's kind of worked into his personality where he is the kind of guy to go rogue and not listen yeah. to authority. Uh-huh. So they clearly put that bit intentionally so he would go off and be like, well, this is the kind of man that I am. I Maybe he isn't the myself. kind of guy who goes rogue. He might not be. Wow. He might be very straight laced. Makes you think. He might be the opposite of a triple X. Yeah. One X. One, one single X. <laughs> yeah. I didn't honestly hate it. I just didn't think it was super compelling overall. And there's moments like, 
at the end when he's is the guy piece is shooting rocket launches into him uh-huh. and all these nanites are coming off and he's turning into the bloodshot that we know cause yeah he's, cause that's he's, right like all these colors gone out of him and he's got the big blood shot on yes. him and they're like oh my god he's overheating he's at nanites uh, they've worked into rover time he can't keep doing this oh he's, he's exploded oh he's fine don't worry about <laughs> it he's fine yeah. he just he just didn't well, I mean, die uh, yeah, I mean some some aspects of this movie it's this kind of thing where you shouldn't really think too hard about it no problem so we will do it <laughs> uh, like because he blows up at the end and then when he wakes up he's in like a like a very sophisticated medical yeah uh, uh, facility facility but it's in the back of an old trailer yeah when did they build that when does anybody build anything all right exactly in their spare time oh yeah <laughs> yeah I don't know w- Wiggins Wiggins am that's I his right? name he the, was the good tech guy Wiggins is he, the, is he from the comics don't know. Probably I don't not. know enough about Bloodshot. Me neither. I was not a Bloodshot guy when when Valiant was a thing. I mean, it's still a thing, but I was I was reading the recent one where he has to go across the country to get all his nanites back. Yes, <laughs> and he looks like Kratos from the God of War. Uh-huh. And I was enjoying that, but mm. stop breathing it for whatever reason. Bloodshot, give me back my nanites. Give me that. Give me that. I thought they were going to use the nanites that they took from him in the jar to like revive him to be like all these memories me in these jar nanites. Right? Yeah, no, nah, it's fine. And there was the kind of like. Kind of there, there is that you know some cop out dialogue at the end where it's like, and I I fixed store your nanites now, so you'll never have to do this again. Mm. Or get your nanites fixed because I fixed them. That's I'm, great. I'm Wiggins. Yeah, I'm Wiggins. <laughs> it's good. I liked him. Yeah, I liked yeah. him too. Overall, they made this movie and it came out mm-hmm. just in time, yes. obviously. <laughs> That's right. Uh, oh. So it's it's just in time to save entertainment in the year 2020. <laughs> So look, yeah, look, I, I know I gave it a worst movie ever, mm-hmm. and if you but haven't, now you're changing it to best movie. No, ever. but I'm saying if, if you haven't, if you've somehow got to here and ignored <laughs> all the parts where we spoiled everything, yeah, you you should you could you should go to this. I think if you're looking for something a little bit, but if you know all the things that we've just told you, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, Wait for streaming, I guess. Yeah, which could be next week. You don't know. Do you would you like to have seen him more bloodshot coloured, like the blue and the ooh, or the light grey or whatever he is, depending. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. But I mean, we did see him covered in flour, which is almost as good. I, th- I thought that was all we were gonna get. Yeah. Uh-huh. But then we get at the end, he yeah. does a little bit more, doesn't he? Yeah. I like the part where um, Guy Pierce shot him with a grenade launcher. Yeah, it was, it was a, it's a good effect. Yeah, yeah, it's a great yeah. effect. Mm-hmm. But where you get shot in the face and it like yeah repairs, 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 repairs. Cool. Mm-hmm. Anything Blood's else? Hot. Anything else? No, that's it, I think. Now, normally we'd jump to what we're reading, what we're going to read, Mason. Oh, yes. But I figured because it's a special occasion. <laughs> yes. Guess what? what? People are looking for a little bit of entertainment in their lives, a bit of love. A bit of spice. A bit of spice. Mm-hmm. So a bit of spicy what, love. Guess what's back, Mason? I don't know. Hate mail. Yes. The hate hasn't hated it. Yes. For those people who don't know, hate mail but the hate hasn't hated it is an sometimes recurring, recurring segment. Sometimes recurring segment in the show uh-huh. where I take eight bits of hate mail from my YouTube comments and I read them out on the show. Except it's never eight. It's always more than eight. But it's always eight. Yes. So yeah, I've, this is it's it's been I've had been having a good run. Like I'm excited I'm for this. Lie. I'm very excited. So now are they, these aren't all from one video, or are no, they from they're all over different the place. different videos. If okay. I've if I've written down like the name of the video, it's because you kind of need to know that going into it. Okay. Otherwise, it's, it can be from any video. <laughs> right. Really. Yeah. We produce a lot of hate, so yeah. almost anything we can anything we say can set people off. Oh my god, you are not wrong, Mason. Mm. Okay, so this one is, uh, it says, this is from John Johns. Oh, the Martian man Martian himself. himself. You, is he spelt it with a Z's? Yes. Can it, what, okay, on YouTube, can anyone have any username? Yeah. You, you, yep. Like, if, if he's taken John Johns, well, can anybody else take it? No, you can change your name, but it doesn't mean your channel's name is uh, called okay, that. Okay, right, yeah. right, right, right. Okay. Uh, you two boy lover dipshits. <laughs> That's when there's caps, I should point out. Yeah, right, right. Are nothing but shit-talking C-bombs. You didn't say so, but I'm... Oh. Get of the welfare and go get some jobs. Fuck you and <laughs> fuck your channel. Uh, and then it's a, like an emoticon uh-huh. of a f- sad smiley face, then a fist emoticon hitting that. Yes. And then it says us next to it. <laughs> so we're punching the sad face? Or it's the US punching. I don't know. Oh, okay. Or us, maybe he's a group of guys. I don't know. That is that is a strong start. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, how much hate is there left in the universe? But there's enough. Is, so that's not a specific video. I, it is, but I don't remember. He's which just one. decided because what you you pointed out last week. If you have a YouTube channel yeah. and you have there's a YouTube app, 
yeah. like a creators app. Yes. And every time somebody comments, comments on anything, yeah. you get an alert. No, of. well, I turn that off, okay, but, I can, but I can, yeah. It's probably good for mental health. It definitely is. Yeah. But you can just watch them roll in. And, yeah, you've, I can. and you've put up a lot of videos, so there's a lot of comments coming in. You're not going to believe it, Mason. God, that guy's, that's, a, that's a lot of levels for this guy. <laughs> but I guess that could be applied to any of our videos. Yeah, we, exactly, yeah. yeah. So uh, we're boy lovers. Boy lovers, dipshits, shit-talking C-bombs, mm. get of the welfare. Oh, was that our video where we were talking about how we're cheating the welfare <laughs> system? Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> I thought I took that one down. <laughs> we're <laughs> on the doll. We're also getting cash in hand work. <laughs> Now off to love some boys. We don't even we don't even monetize these because we're on the doll. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this is from Gus uh, Belanger. Fuck me. If I didn't already know tits came in pairs, these two <laughs> would confirm the hypothesis. They must have won gold in the Australian or New Zealand or wherever the fuck. Too clever by half Olympics. It's like listening to an AM morning radio show in Australia reviewing a TV show. Do these two halfwits <laughs> think they get paid by the joke? You know, these days I don't expect anybody to treat Star Wars franchise with any actual respect. Yes. Lord knows the fans don't anymore, and you can't and you can make a decent argument for why they don't. But I get the feeling these guys would make jokes at their sick mother's expense if she, she was in hospital. I don't suppose there's any room in between your terribly, terribly light-hearted Brackets lightheaded. Oh, uh, not bad. Banter for an actual review <laughs> of what Blindy and the Beard is endlessly chortling about. No? Are you blinding? <laughs> yes, so. <laughs> that's a new. That's but I also have a beard. <laughs> oh, because we're a, we're an AM radio team. Yeah. Does, Wouldn't that be a FM radio? I team? think AM in, uh, is different in America. Oh. I think I, I think the AM stations are more like FM stations here. That makes sense. Anyway, it makes you think. You should have done it? his research. I would, I because what happens there is he's come up with the name of the beard for yeah. me, and he's like, "Well, but it could be me because maybe you're wearing glasses in the image of you." Oh, okay, it's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this maybe is good I'm stuff. Blind. Maybe I am blindy. <laughs> I as, as that as that comment was rolling in, I'm like, it's either a DC fan or a Star Wars fan. <laughs> I, I don't know because it's like I can't believe you you don't take this seriously this thing that I'll, it's it's not serious enough why aren't you making jokes it's not fair that you make jokes about a thing that i like <laughs> it's, you got to take it seriously no we can i'll make fun of anything but we I'll should make fun take of things it, that i like but we should take it seriously oh, yeah it's a good point actually andy Schultz says you guys do realize all the numbers for star wars and the comic book movies produced by disney are fake numbers right like for example the most there's no punctuation in this this is one roll on <laughs> sentence i should point out uh, like, for example, the most recent Star Wars one-word numbers are actually fake. It only made somewhere around $150 million, not the reported $550 million, because Disney doesn't like to loose, so they fluffed the numbers by <laughs> buying out theatres all over to make their ends meet, as in M-E-A-T, of the film. <laughs> they even stated... This is one sentence. I can't stress that enough. They even stated before it that, that they were going to respect the Fisher family, and yet what they did... They do a cash grab and use Carrie Fisher, who was long dead before it came out. They butchered the whole law of Star Wars, one word, just so they could rewrite the last f three films by making the books and other media of Star Wars no longer canon so they could JS, then it's dot, dot, dot. The only successful <laughs> part of the comic book films was the Avengers series. <laughs> Look. Some hard facts in there. <laughs> I, can't, I can't dispute anything he said there. <laughs> They're buying out cinemas. They're buying out whole that makes cinemas. makes sense. Yep. Incredible. Why would they spend hundreds of millions, billions of dollars a, a year on films and then spend an additional billions of dollars to go and fill out the cinemas? It, that's, a, that's the worst <laughs> strategy. <laughs> oh, but, oh, but they do get half of that money back, obviously, because it goes back to them. So, Oh, yeah. Really, they're only spending <laughs> $250 million <laughs> on tickets. <laughs> That's a good point. I mean, probably, look, we're going to have egg on our faces if it turns out that that's true in a couple of years. They, they reveal that, that it's all, yeah. It's just a self perpetuating <laughs> Disney machine. <laughs> this is from Vault Castrofer. Castrofer. Mm -hmm. At this point, the name's not really relevant. Matter, are they? I don't know. Some guy on the internet said this. Yes. This is from Biggest Box Office Bombs. I don't think that's relevant. But I don't know, guys, but I really hate hearing you talk you talk in gibberish. So random and can't seem to stop. Please stop showing up on my YouTube recommendation. That's your own fault. That like is, clicking on yeah. things. That's nothing click, to do with us. You've clicked on something to do with us. You've, you've clicked. That's really good. It's your own fault. You uh, can actually, I've said this before, but you can actually, if things pop up in your recommendation, there's a click the dots next to it next to it, and you 
click remove and you'll stop. So you do that a few times and you'll never see one that's again. There you go. Okay, this is from Star. Yeah, I mean, gibberish is not wrong either. No, that's true. <laughs> this is from, uh, uh, this is in the Star Wars is Ruined video. Remember that video? It's not a real video about criticizing Star yeah, Wars. Right, right, yeah, right, right, right. Uh, it's from. Because Star Wars is always wrong. That's right. Every, every, every generation, somebody's like, well, it's wrong that they did this. Yeah, okay, yeah. Exactly. Uh, so this is from No Bull Shit. But it's two eyes and shit, and no ball is one word. It's no balls hit. It's a bloodshot <laughs> okay, situation. Okay, right. Sorry. Yeah, uh, I believe black people are overrepresented in American movies, especially <laughs> sci-fi movies. Just straight out of the gate. <laughs> I remember when I worked at Blockbuster, and back then black people didn't rent sci-fi. Generally speaking, there might have been one or two once in a blue moon that would rent a sci-fi movie. But nowadays, who's watching that either? Who's been like, what is it? What are the different he's, races? He's got a little renting? checklist yeah. down, down below the counter. Yeah. Well, you got a lot of time on your hands if you're working on a blockbuster. I, in the guess 90s, so. I guess That was the king job to have. You know? <laughs> well, I really wanted that job. Yeah. But nowadays they well, say, you, you weren't racist enough. That's oh, your problem. Damn it. If only, you know, <laughs> if only <laughs> you were just below the cutoff of <laughs> acceptable racism. You're like, mm, you're pretty racist, but you're not racist enough. So, <laughs> But nowadays they seem to be in every sci-fi movie and it doesn't seem like they uh, need to do a great job of acting either. I don't have a problem with black people being in sci-fi movies at all. Well. Well. (laughs) It just seems suspiciously strange that they're in so many movies at the same time. Movies are becoming woke feminist movies that emasculate white men. (laughs) Uh, It as if our movies are being sabotaged. Our movies. <laughs> Our movies, yeah. Because he's a guy that worked at Blockbuster, so he's an aspiring it's his filmmaker. Movies, yeah. yeah, his yeah. movies. White guys should only That's be and make movies. Be your dad and make movies. He's, he's, Brother white guys. He's so close to the, all these people. <laughs> they're so close to a revelation of like, why isn't? Why don't people go see movies that they're not represented in at all? <laughs> yeah. But but when they are represented in a movie, they see that movie. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Isn't it? I because in my experience, in my, in my anecdotal experience <laughs> of presumably working in a really white neighborhood. Well, that's the other thing, isn't it? Like, where did you? Where did you work? Where do you yeah. live? I oh, know it doesn't matter. I live Why in are we defending? I live in Sweden. <laughs> yeah. This is from Come Get. This is um, when I talk about how the emperor came back. Mm-hmm. He took some transgender meds and and voted left, so the dark side let him in. Obama's dark side. <laughs> nice. Good, timely current <laughs> reference. Good work there. Great stuff. This is from Freak of Nature. You guys don't have the brain power to understand the genius of BVS. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's back. It's back. <laughs> it always surprises me when it's like, people are still talking about this, what, this isn't from 2016. No. This is from This, this is, is from, from, this this is from recent. Yep. Just stop bashing it already because you guys sound uneducated. That's very right. true. Here we go. Uh, this is from Joel D. We'll Joel, never escape Joel that Dusha. membership, man. Is this Joel Dusha? Oh, my God. Actually, it doesn't look like him in the picture. but that he, he got put in Twitter jail this week. I don't know if you're aware. I d- he's out now, isn't uh, he? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he said, said. I thought he was very reasonable in his so assessments. Too, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Sounds like a couple of guys trying to defend the Green New Deal. Honest and enthusiastic, <laughs> but still misguided, unrealistic. Follow-up comment five minutes later. Yes. Dude's constantly worrying about spoilers for 20-plus minutes. Apologizing like a dude at the water park with his women's studies classmates anytime he unconsciously <laughs> looks below eye level. There's a lot of things that I feel like people also take in. They bring subject. they bring their own <laughs> issues to the comments. I think, and also maybe fantasies. Yeah, of like a women's study water park. Yeah, the women's the women's study take. water park excursion. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Oh, that's a kind of women's studies. I get it. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, I get it. But yes, that guy's really brought in. I feel like if you got a snapshot of all his comments, like you could really build a profile of mm. that person. Just yeah, like oh, I get, I get this guy now. Yeah, I don't want to hang out with him, but I get him. <laughs> uh, this is from uh, Brennan Budke. Oh. No, I wish. Hey, James, I know you're looking through the comments to find some hate mail for the segment of the podcast. Oh, hate dog. mail, but the hate has an eight in it. So I just want to take the time and say thank you and remind you that the majority of everyone that listens to your podcast or watches your videos loves what you and Meso do and that only a small fraction of watchers and listeners feel the need to, ha- to leave hate and that's why it's such uh, so much fun to make fun of them. That's not... That's, I don't hey, know Brandon, that's get, not, get out of here, Brendan. <laughs> I don't know how that's not... Get out of here with your positivity. <laughs> get out of it. <laughs> No, we appreciate that. This here we go. Roger Martin just says, Rotten Tomatoes is PC bullshit. <laughs> it sure is. Sure is. <laughs> that sure aggregate is, of... <laughs> we should... Look, I, I think I mentioned this to you before off air. I, I feel like maybe we should do a video on what Rotten Tomatoes is. 
I don't think it'd help. <laughs> I think the people who think this, uh, like most people will be like, yeah, we know. And then there's people like, yeah, but the user score is more important or whatever. And mm. just, I just oh my God. Uh, Harry Murray. Okay, so it should be called How Rotten Tomatoes Works Brackets and We Know This Won't Help. <laughs> yes, it's not a bad idea. Harry Murray says, well, this video is a jumbled pile of hot garbage. Thanks for wasting my time, uneducated foreigner. You're welcome. <laughs> Just happy to help. Yeah, happy to help. I mean, you know, you, people got a lot of time in the day. Yeah, take notice. Foreigner also. I know. You didn't click, you don't know where he is. I know, I didn't. Assume America. I mean, it's got, he's got a Kratos avatar. So he's Greek. He's Greek. <laughs> 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 Typical, isn't it? Yeah, it's <laughs> very, absolutely. It's so weird that it's like, I never understand that there are other places, like in the, like a foreigner to you is not a foreigner to somebody. It's a local from, to me. Yeah, it's. Yeah, you're a local to me, James. Thanks, Mason. I wouldn't punch you at the at the surf beach. Well, I consider, you're a local. I consider you a foreigner, just oh, so we know. Okay, I'm sorry. This one, take notice. Uh, this is about how the emperor came back. Terrible video and you're wrong. It was brought back by Disney and JJ using cuck power of Star Wars fans. <laughs> This one just says, well, I mean that that has aged badly because obviously we know that he's he's a he's client. A client, actually, a client yeah, now, so exactly. that's inaccurate. Yeah, that guy should probably re-edit. He's and, prob and probably a virgin also. <laughs> yeah, right, but, <laughs> he is giving the thumbs up, and he's wearing a suit. And his yeah, it's also an edited comment, so I don't know what it was before. Oh, you can't tell. That's a shame. Nah. Uh, this one just says dumb shit Brit. <laughs> so it's dumb dumb shit, but it's an N. So of an it's, M. A, it's a he's calling you dumb, but he's got a typo in his comment. Yes, and he thinks you're a Brit. Yes, nice. This is from uh, Sinuk Mob. Okay, can you guys just keep talking and stop fucking adding in these shitty gay little jokes that are not funny <laughs> at all? Like, I enjoy the content and what you guys are saying. Incredible. <laughs> but you don't have to add shitty fucking garbage joke every five seconds that adds nothing but pain to an otherwise informative <laughs> and good video. Like, I always have to skip the first the frist 15 seconds of your videos because it's always just stupid, dumb, fucking unfunny, shitty jokes. We appreciate the support. Regardless. Absolutely. That's I really mean, if you're good. watching the whole video, really, that's really, really nice. So what is he? And I don't want to make that assumption, but it's always a guy. Uh, <laughs> it's literally always a guy. It's always a white guy. It's a cartoon avatar. Uh, he's a fox or something and he's got a... No, he's a, he's a man. <laughs> 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 what, what do you like about it? Is it just our re relaying Information. of facts? It's Some people do like that. Yeah. Because, for example, re in a recent video, uh, we did the Star Trek Generations. Yes. And you said... The captain of the new Enterprise is Cameron. Oh, sorry, is is the guy from Sin City, Spin City? Yes. And there's a lot of people that are like, "That's Cameron from fucking Ferris Bueller." Yeah, or whatever. right. Uh -huh. But it's like, yeah, but people expect us to name the role of, that everything that a person is in. Yes. Otherwise, yes. they're like, "I can't believe you said that, and you didn't say the other thing that he was in." Don't believe you didn't mention he was in an episode of Scrubs once. You know, it's he was in an episode of he Scrubs. Was in an episode once? of Scrubs, yeah. Was, oh, maybe I remember that. Like he's in the new show about the Murdochs, but it's not the Murdochs or uh -huh. whatever. You know, okay. so well, I'll be sure to add and other things. Yeah. Also. we've talked about this, but most people just want a list. Not most. Some people just want a list of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Like of facts. Just go to. Can we do a video <laughs> that's just a list of the guy who was Cameron in Ferris Bueller was in? Yeah, and just a snippet. Ten million views. Ten million views. 10 million straight views. up. Uh, from the guy who's Cameron in Eric yes. Bueller. He'll be, just watch it 10 million times. <laughs> this is from Emmett Cullen Hale. So you gave Disney your money. What about the boycott? It was a boycott? <laughs> I don't, did we, I First don't, I've heard of it. Make yeah. a video about it, guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Is it, do, we, do we ever agree to a boycott? Maybe we said it in passing as a joke. Was it Spider-Man related? I don't know. I think it was Star Wars related. Oh. Uh, Maybe can, it's a Last Jedi-based boycott. Could be. Everything springs from the Last Jedi. It certainly does. Uh -huh. All knowledge. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, it's about four or five. Ryan months. Johnson also directed Looper Is and Brick true? and the Brothers Bloom. Oh my Knives god! Knives Out. Oh my god! We mentioned the Last Jedi, so I figured I'd have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say good. all the things. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know his student films? No, but you should say them. We'll, we'll put them in a separate video. <laughs> okay, yeah. right. Uh, he did them though. Yes, Kenji says Rise of Skywalker is amazing. I don't know what you're talking about. Endgame wasn't satisfying. You honestly don't know shit about Star Wars, do you, clown? <laughs> 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 I guess I don't. Uh, this is from Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. I remember the video we did for Caravan of Garbage. Oh, yes, yes. This one is from JT Parker says, The fuck? Shut your ugly fat mouth. This movie was fantastic and it added so much to Batman mythos in general and it made an already amazing show, brackets Batman Beyond, even better. <laughs> Wait, what show is this based on? <laughs> so oh, Batman Beyond. Yes. So silence, you f ugly fat piece of garbage. Didn't we like it? Yes. <laughs> also, I don't think you're that fat. Th that fat? Yep. I'll take it. <laughs> 
<laughs> mm. We liked it. I feel confident we liked that. We did that a movie. lot. Yeah. yeah, right. But we didn't like it enough. No, I think that's just the title. To be oh. fair, which is my fault. I do call them Caravan of Garbage. Oh, I see. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. Okay. Uh, this is from the Death of Green Screen video that I put up last week, which yes. uh, a lot of people seem to like. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ, I hate your voice as a sure for sponsors. As you sure for sponsors to earn a living. I prefer if you lived in a fucking cave. There's a fake sponsor in that for rocks. I don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> have you seen that? Yeah, I have seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, uh, I endorse rocks. Yeah. And there's no link to rocks. And wow. it's the guy eating rocks. <laughs> It's not a, it's not a real sponsor. Wow, that's yeah. good, good work. <laughs> Thanks. Of all the videos you could have, <laughs> I know there's so many. Right? I, there's like two or three sponsors a month. We've sold out for everything. <laughs> we'll do, we'll, we'll, oh, rocks. <laughs> Cripple Ninja says you're stupid enough to ignore eminent danger like a poisonous spider. Remember that video when there was a spider crawling across the roof, and we we're like, yeah, oh, we'll get it later. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, movies are really entertaining. Uh, He's dis- not wrong. Yeah, distraction, distraction, hypothesis, s- satanic blood orgies. Welcome to Hollywood. <laughs> yep. What's? what's <laughs> I feel like this is Alex Jones. <laughs> that's what. That's who this is. I feel some of these comments we could devote an entire episode to. <laughs> and I think that one is. I, I feel like that guy's like, maybe he's. I don't know. <laughs> What was it? Did we catch him mid thought? I don't yeah, know. right. I don't know. Uh, I, if, I think you know what. It's a guy who got bitten by a spider while he was watching a movie. All right. I think that's his and whole we deal. Don't take it seriously. And now he goes from video to video. <laughs> he's on. He's on Reddit. He's on the dark web. Sure. And he's tracking down movies. He's tracking down videos on YouTube that have people ignoring spiders, so that he can comment that you shouldn't ignore spiders and the satanic blood orgies. That yes, that's true. Also, Hollywood. also those are. What's a, thing. a blood orgy look like? It sounds horrible. Blade one. Blade. Blade yeah. one. Yeah. Blade. Of course it is. Um, so Rob Zombie is playing. Yes. This is the last one. Uh, it's from Saucy Spaghetti. You have no... You have no <laughs> I'm liking it so far. <laughs> Mamma mia, bellissimo. You have no idea how good Attack of the Clones is. Well, that is true. Uh, you clearly don't look deep into the meaning of the dialogue. <laughs> that is notoriously the... Like, the, as the worst dialogue in a Star Wars film. Okay, but it looks It's around. known for it. It's, this is what we call dialogue horseshoe theory. The dialogue gets so bad... Then you oh. leap the horseshoe and all of a sudden it's the best dialogue. It's brilliant. If you think about it. I, had, I did. Mm-hmm. And he's right. Saucy spaghetti is. Oh my God. Yet again. Anyway, that's been hate mail, but the hate hasn't aided in it. Well done, everyone. <laughs> everyone who leaves a comment. I like them. I love them. It's good, isn't it? I marry every single one of them. It's but true. obviously I can't because in a blood orgy. we're quarantined. That's, oh. And you can't have a blood orgy during a quarantine. That's so. true. I'm doing the theme. are we reading today mason's actually gone to the toilet so um we can wait in silence uh, but i'm gonna stop the recording and then i'm gonna um i'm gonna st- I'm, i will sit here in silence but you don't have to sit with me um i'll be you, there'll be no time of no time will have passed for you Good, goodbye but i'll be right back and it won't matter to you mason what are you reading i'm gonna go back and read bloodshot mm, which because ones it's a really good question bloodshot. no i don't i don't know oh maybe you know what? I think I might. Mm. I don't. Th- I don't think I'll have time in my life yeah. to read all the Bloodshot. But I guess I'll go back and read some original Bloodshot. Maybe like the first story arc of original Recipe Bloodshot. Yeah, and then maybe read most recent Bloodshot because mm. I was on Levin's podcast, uh, Serious Issues. Yes. some time ago, maybe like last year, and we and I read a uh, a Bloodshot. I think it was Bloodshot USA. That's like the first. We- Oh, the first one ever. No, no, the first, the first one of like the la the, the, the last yeah. run. I don't know. That's not and the one was, where he's got the beard that I was talking about. Where he's no, I think across. it's I think it's it's bloodshot versus a whole bunch of other bloodshots. Ah, uh, and I didn't like it, if I recall. Oh right, I remember okay. being like, this is cliched and bad. But I mean, there's, there's maybe it's a false memory or whatever. Oh my god, mm. maybe it's really good. Yeah, but uh, so there's got to be some good because uh, you know there's a lot of valiant stuff that I really do enjoy. Yeah, I just never really got into Bloodshot, and I think it's probably because he looks like a cliched yes superhero generic guy. Yeah, but then all of them do, so I don't know what. <laughs> what do you want, Mason? Exactly right. Mm. I mean, how's he? How's he any worse than Ninjak? Uh. You know? No, I don't have answers. There's no way to know. I don't yet. know anything about ninja. So I think maybe I'll do a Valiant. Is he a I'll ninja a, cyborg? He's a British ninja. That's cool too. But he's it's, Ninjak is short for Ninja K. Oh. You know? It's not that much shorter. It's, it's the same. Really not, right? It's the same, It's really, no blood's it? hot, is it? No, it's not. It's, it's absolutely no blood's, no blood's hot. hot. But I think I'll probably do... If anybody, actually, if anybody if anybody is listening to this yes. and would like to email in maybe some Valiant recommendations mm. from any era of Valiant, whether it be 
old school Valiant or, or modern, whatever, whatever modern Valiant is. You're listening is. on your emergency CB radio. Yeah. And you're like, well, I've got a couple of choices. I can either use my remaining battery power to call for some help and some supplies, or I can send an email. I can ch- charge my phone yeah, and send yeah. an email to Meso about what Valiant comics he should read. I agree. Do that second one, I reckon. I totally agree. But, uh, yeah, so I'll def- I'm going to start on Bloodshot and see see what I can get into. I agree. What about you, James? I'm reading the Argus. It's, oh, and uh, also, no, go ahead. Oh, I'll no, wait no, till you're finished. No, no, mind. I'll wait till you're oh, finished. Oh, fine. Uh, what's the Argus? Uh, it's published by Action Lab's Danger Zone Comics <laughs> publisher. <laughs> Excuse me, that's very that's appealing. by Mark uh, Bertolini and Daryl uh, Knickham. Yeah, yes, so, sorry. Go, go on. Forgetting that wrong, because mm-hmm. I did. Uh, it's basically about a man who invents time travel, but as soon as he invents time travel, a bunch of people who are him from different points in time come back as like a task force and be like, to you got to join our time travel task oh, force that's fun. because one of us from this time stream has gone real bad and is killing us all. One of them is like a the grizzled kind of cable kind of escalator yeah, right. uh-huh. and there's like a tech guy and all whatever oh, guy. Oh, there's a tech guy, a yeah. guy in the van. Yeah. Does he ever have to get out of the van? I can't remember. Or well, by only van, one I mean time machine. Yeah, but it's so only... it's called Argus. Yeah, it's kind of like Infinite Vacation. I was just thinking yeah. that actually, yeah. Uh, for the one issue I've read, but no, I like it. Yeah, yeah I mean, a few... Uh, it's like a Rick and Morty kind of... Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of, you know, time travel stories and movies and such, such out there, but very few of them really factor in that as soon as somebody invents time travel, it's going to ruin everything. Yeah. Forever, everywhere. Absolutely. <laughs> Everyone all and time. everything. Yeah. yeah, okay, that sounds like fun. Mm. Uh, also, there's a new season of Castlevania out. I don't know. Did we, did yes. we mention that recently? I think we said that it was coming out, but now oh. it is out. Well, yes. I haven't watched any yet. I'm way behind in Castlevania, but... Uh, I watched the first, you know, like that first two or three yeah, episodes yeah. they uh-huh. did. And I, watched, I liked it. I really yeah. liked it, so i got to go back. Yeah. yeah. But again, it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, boy, if only I had time in, indoors by myself where I'm not allowed to socialise, yeah. I'd watch so many things. Mm. Well, now I'm going to. That's great. There's a new Mark Wahlberg movie out on, oh, on, Spencer Net, Confidential. on Netflix. Yeah, Spencer Confidential. It's I don't not know. great. Okay, right. That's what I heard. Oh, uh, yeah. I watched his breakdown, his roles of all okay, yeah. time or whatever. Uh-huh. You know. Who's Spencer? He, is, this a, is? is this Spencer for Hire? I don't Which know. Which is a TV series well, from back in the day? I, from the, what I read where he breaks down all his characters and roles over all time, yes. he mentions that it's the character is, is from a series that has 48 books in it. Okay, let's. I'm going to look this up then. Please do. Okay, I've looked up Spencer Confidential. The second photo is the, the second picture is a photo of Post Malone. Is yeah, Post Malone in this yes, movie. Yes, okay, yes, right. Yes, yes. Okay then. All right. He's very loosely based on the novel Wonderland by Ace Atkins. Okay, so I don't think it's Spencer for Hire. Whatever hmm. Spencer for Hire is, I'm going to look up Spencer for Hire. Oh, I'm ready. And then we'll all know. It's like hire a hubby, except you hire a Spencer. Uh, Spencer, a Boston private eye, tackles a different case each week with his, the occasional assist from his buddy Hawk. It was a man and not a hawk, but Hawk is looking pretty cool. Look at this dude. That guy doesn't look enough like a hawk. Mm. That's my problem. Oh, Loki and WandaVision have also been postponed. Oh, yeah. well, I mean, they're put on hold. Because they're making them. Spence for Hire is an American crime drama series based on Robert B. Parker's Spencer novels. Okay. Yeah, and uses the names of characters created by Robert B. Parker. They are related. There you go. There you go. Okay. You know things. I've finally made that connection. I think I half made that connection a number of times. I'm sure there were people listening who were yelling at me. Yes, you said Robert B. Parker. You said it. <laughs> well, now you've whole made the connection, haven't you? Yeah, maybe so that's I should really watch cool. this. Maybe I should watch this. Yeah, maybe you should. I mean, it's free and it's on there if you've got Netflix true. or whatever. And I've got time on my hands, so why wouldn't I? You've got too much time on your hands, am I right? Directed by Peter Berg. Yes. He, he directed The Rundown. Yep. Yeah. And he also directed... The Kingdom? Yeah. Hancock. Yeah, that Battleship. One. Yeah, Battleship. I was going to say <laughs> Battleship, yeah. Lone Survivor. Uh, something, we didn't, something we didn't get to, but I've only just seen it now because it's in my browser. Yeah. Uh, this is from ladbible.com. Love it. I was going to mention it earlier. They always message me whenever the, an animation gets done and like, can we have this? And I'm like... No, you can't have it. This thing that was created took yeah. a lot of work. Can we just have it? Yeah, because they used to just take stuff. Yeah, and right. And now right. they ask. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, they've asked Michael Caine, and he says, Batman was one of the greatest things he's ever done. Just a burst. In my life. The veteran actor who turns 87 tomorrow, Saturday, recounted how he got involved with the Christian Nolan trilogy in an interview with Indian newspaper The Hindu. Uh, Nolan came to the front door of his house in the country with a script. Could see him through the glass, but I couldn't recognise him. <laughs> The moment he introduced himself, I knew exactly who he was because I was a great fan of his three small films. <laughs> I told him, I'm too old for Batman. What do you want me to play the butler? What would my dialogues be? Would you like another beverage or more custard? <laughs> quote from him. And that's a direct audio from the interview. So uh, That's really funny. Anyway, 
Uh, Batman doesn't eat custard. So I did the movie, and it was one of the greatest things I've done in my life. He's done a few knowledge because he also yeah. did. Um, he did Dunkirk. He was a voiceover. Wasn't was it, was it, he was also in uh, My Dad's Lost in Space and Look at All This Corn Dying? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Also, he's going to be in Tenet, which is coming out. Ah. Oh. Which is due to be released in July. <laughs> Who knows? Who does know? Yeah. Hopefully things have cleared up. By anyway, him. good on mm. good on, good on, on Michael Caine. Good on him. Yeah. And good on us for oh, wait, playing. There's one, wait, there's one, more, there's one more clip. It says, from the end, it says, my name's Michael Caine. <laughs> Oh, at the end? Yeah, it's just at the end, yeah. yeah okay. Just so everyone knows. Don't put that phone away yet, Mason. Oh, no, you're, you're absolutely right. The letters, though. My goodness, let's do some letters. The classic one was the letters, oh, letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only a day away. We're going to hear right now, we're going to do letters. If you do want to reach the show, hashtag weeklyplanetpod on Twitter, weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com on Gmail. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Get us send us a up. tweet. Do do whatever you want. Would you like me to go first? Or yes, you go, to go, go first, first okay. James. Go, you so go first. Harry Ritter, uh, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. With the rash of movies getting cancelled or postponed because of the coronavirus, would you like to see studios releasing these new films on streaming platforms at a rental ticket cost so they ca- uh, since they can't theatrically? Blanket answer to that, yes. I would rather would, just yep, be able uh-huh. to see them now. Yes. Yeah, I think. But I don't think that's the reality for Do you all think of the these. Marvel Universe, the cinematic universe, will lose momentum if we don't see a Black Widow? I think the whole thing is losing, everything is losing momentum. Oh, no. I think, no, I, so I don't think it matters. I right. think everyone's going to have to ramp back up again anyway. Oh, I, okay. You don't mean superhero movies are losing momentum. No, you mean, I mean, it, everything. Yeah, no, that's mm. probably, that is true, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think if anything, people would be more raring to go after yeah, this. Yeah, and it could happened. be also maybe it will affect the film industry in the long term as it may affect the workforce because they realise that a lot of people can do their jobs from home that That's people true, have yeah. been saying for like 20 fucking years now. <laughs> right, yes. That a lot of work. Yeah. Oh, oh, there are obvious exceptions. I mean, YouTubers have to go into the YouTube office. Got to go into the YouTube office. Every day. Exactly. We've got to swipe in. We've got to punch in, actually. It's an, <laughs> old, right, yeah. and it's an old school system. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. There's a, the girder, I do it every time. That's right, exactly. You sit on the girder. There's yeah, a matronly like, woman on the desk. Yep, mate, so that's you know, right. You know, yeah, I know how it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You're there with PewDiePie. <laughs> is he <laughs> on YouTube? Is he yeah, no, he's on YouTube. Okay, yeah. right. But me and him, just all yeah, day, yeah. every day. Yeah. He's like, what do you think of this meme? And I'm like, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, do you think I should say the N-word? And you're like, no. He's like, I'm going to say it anyway. I'm going to say it. If anyone can get away with it. Okay, it's me, PewDiePie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what, what do you think though? What would you rather do? Would you rather wait or? I think that's just a selfish thing for me to yeah, be like, I just want to see it. No, yeah. I would be, like if they put Black Widow on streaming services today, I'd watch it today, 100%. I mean, you know. Yeah, of course. It's, it's. But I'm saying, is that what you think they should do though? Or Obviously, if it came out on streaming, you're not waiting for the movies. You're going to watch no, it. No, that's true. Uh, look, I think. I think we've given them all enough money at this point. If they were going to put, <laughs> they owe us they one. They owe us one. <laughs> Honestly, I think at this point, if they were just, and you know what, it would. I'll we'll take a Doctor Strange sequel, yeah, whatever. I think it'd be a good if. Speaking of the New Mutants, I think if they want to dump something that is definitely not going to make money, yes, then they can just be like, "Oh, we put the New Mutants out for free. Yeah, just put it on Disney Plus. Uh, we don't know how much money it would have made. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe it would have." Uh, been a hit. It doesn't matter it for doesn't, them because exactly. they didn't make it anyway. Yeah, so I, I think it, this is this would be a perfect opportunity. Maybe pay for, maybe Black Widow. You pay twenty bucks or ten bucks yeah. or whatever, and then some are free. Yeah. At this point, I think that would that would be good. It'd be a show of good faith. Mm. Yes. Be like we're willing to, you know, we'll see your movies when they come out. Yeah. After this, but in the meantime, give us some bloody free entertainment. I think it dogs. very much. Yes. I think yeah. I think it very much depends on. Because at this point, you can also blame any you could blame anything that would be a bomb. Yeah. On on the coronavirus, so just on the customer. On the customer, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I think the next two weeks are going to be really telling, depending on what direction this whole thing goes. Mm. So you know, I think it will be getting some something. Some things will move to streaming. I don't know what that's going to look like, yeah. but if this keeps up, then yeah. it's, it's almost guaranteed. Yeah. yeah. I've got to imagine watching first run Black Widow in your house. You got a nice. You got yeah. You've invested in your big TV. A big tub of choc yeah, chip oh, ice cream, Mason. I've, I've got a, I've got a, mi- I've got a, a thing of microwave popcorn I haven't popped yet. You, so. That you, you shivered a man for. That's right, exactly. I've got the one remaining <laughs> thing of microwave popcorn. Shouldn't have told everybody. Butterfly, they're going to come to your house. Oh no! <laughs> uh, but uh, no. make your own popcorn. Get some corn kernels. I've got the buttered popcorn, James, in the thing. In the no, but you get thing. the corn kernels. You buy it like in bulk. Yeah, and huh. then you throw in like half how a I, cup. James, how am I going to bulk, bulk buy anything right now? <laughs> you're right. Right? Sorry, you're absolutely right. Yeah. But it, st- it stores forever. It's all That's gone. True. 
But you throw it in there with some oil, and then you, yeah, you mix oh, through yeah. some butter and some salt. It's oh. it's a beautiful day. Oh, it is a beautiful day. <laughs> And then I could watch Black Widow with my with my buttery hands. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's really good. Uh, but yeah, that and, and nobody else. There's no one else there. But also, like some movies, I'm like, oh, the public. I don't want to go out and watch this movie with yeah. people. But I would like to see it, like a Black movies, Widow with movies are better in the cinema. Yeah. If it's a good experience. That's true. Yeah. Movies are better. They uh-huh. just they just are. Like it's a you know when you when you go with a bunch when when we go to a you know a, a, I'm just gonna say media screening but nobody. <laughs> Nobody says anything or does anything to the media screening. But if no. we if we go to one of those ones where it's like the fans want tickets or whatever, yeah. we all go to that one. That's that's always a good experience, I think. So mm, I agree. It's that that is better than watching it at home. Yeah. But uh, got those buttery hands. Oh my god, Mason. Right? Oh my god. Mm. Uh so what else we got here? Uh, oh, you got a letter? Is, I've got a letter. This one this is from Shantnu. He says, Hey guys. I'm um, Shanu, all the way from India. A big fan of the show. Thank you. What up? As you might know, cricket is huge in India as well as Australia, I suppose, he says. Uh, have you heard about the documentary series that came out on Amazon Prime recently covering the journey of Australian cricket team through the ball tampering saga? I've heard of it. I've not watched it, but no, I think I, I will. Yeah, there, yeah. Are, there are billboards mm. up actually for it right now. Yeah, the, yeah. the test. That's a fascinating... I Okay, I'm... I'm Do you want to explain ball tampering to uh, people? So also, I'm not... I'm, I'm not Really interested in cricket no. as a as a as a sport, really. Although I do like going places and sitting down and having a drink. So that's, sure. that's pretty good. And having a meat pie. So that's something I enjoy. But uh, twelve dollar. I'm meat fascinated pie. by what happened to the Australian cricket team and also how they're going to spin it for a documentary. Yeah. So as I understand it, the ball tampering saga is. That like you can you can scuff it up a bit. You can scuff up the cricket ball when you're about to bowl the cricket yeah. ball. You can like scuff it up to change its performance. Yeah, as as you bowl it. Yes. Uh, it was explained to me once as at the height of the scandal, but I've forgotten it. But yeah. but apparently it's illegal to do it in the game. It's against the rules, and you they they check the ball before it's sent out there. So so there's no so they hold it and yeah. make you cough. Everybody's <laughs> exactly everybody's on the same page. But the Australian cricket team tampered with the ball on the field with like a million cameras around them. Yeah. And then they blamed it on the new guys. As for, <laughs> from what I understand it, like all the established guys. Was that the one where they also had dirt in their pockets and they were rubbing dirt from Yes, the, that's yeah. exactly it. Yeah, they did. Yeah. So, you could see him pulling dirt out yeah, of his pocket. Yeah, 100%. He brought that's, dirt onto the field. That's the, that's the whole thing is like a, I am fascinated to, because, yeah, again, like as I understand it, the, the veteran players were like, hey, new guy. Can you tamper with the ball, please? Yeah. Kind of thing, and they were like, and he's like, oh, okay, I guess yeah. this is what you do. And then they all got into a bunch of trouble and lost the, the, the. Who would have thought? Yeah, I know, like right? Infrared cameras and shit. Yeah. Like, what? You can't say anything on the field because it all gets recorded. Yeah. Of all mics. But are- I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely fascinated to watch this as long as it's short and not long. I hope it's ten episodes but because it is. It's is it is it a docudrama? I don't know. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah. Uh, because if it's a docudrama, I would be fascinated to see if they've they've spun it so they're still Australia's heroes. They aren't a bunch of people who cheated. I just like seeing the boys getting out there, right? getting a win for the country, you yes, know what I mean? Yeah, for sure, our boys. You know what I love when somebody throws a ball and somebody has a bat on the other end and they hit it, but nice. they do that more times than the other team. That really matters to me. Yeah, yeah, what I'm yeah. saying is all things are dumb, including sport. Sure. I'm not saying movies aren't dumb, Mason. Uh-huh. Everything's dumb. Everything, Everything everybody dumb. likes is dumb okay. and made up. It's a docu-series following the Australian men's cricket team offering a behind-the-scenes look at how one of the world's best cricket teams fell from grace and was forced to reclaim dot, 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 doesn't say, reclaim their title and integrity. Episode one, a new beginning, and it's day one for new coach Justin Langer, time to reinvigorate and rebuild the Australian national, I assume, cricket team. It's cut off. Anthem. <laughs> He's rewriting it. Cricket team. Come okay. on, boys, what are your suggestions? Trust in the plan. There's a renewed focus on character over cover drives as Justin Langer and the team head to the UAE to face the mercurial Pakistan. Oh, my God. Sporting commentators love to call people mercurial. Mm. That guy's so mercurial. Number Episode 3, a test of character. Australia is put to the test by cricket powerhouse India and India's fiercely competitive captain, Virat Kohli. None of this is... When do they tamper with the ball? When when's the tampering bit? Yeah. It doesn't seem to mention the tampering at all. Then I'm not watching it. Yeah. Maybe it's not. Maybe they've completely got rid of it. Having served their 12-month bans for ball tampering, Steve Smith and David Warner rejoin on the Australian squad ahead of a team galvanising trip to Gallipoli. Just the boys making it just happen. Just the boys. Just the boys saluting just at Gallipoli. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Anyway, awful. Yes. <laughs> just to, if it's... I'm not interested unless there's like the real mechanics and the... Yeah. I, don't want to be, I don't want it to be about, oh my God, it's our boys and they're learning how to... 
just just be champions. Coming back together and be Australian. They they lost their way, but now they're champions again. I want to hear about the cheating and why the (laughs) cheating happened and why they thought it was a clever idea. I want a two camera interview with some dudes like. What were you thinking? Yeah, we just thought maybe the cameras wouldn't see it. (laughs) I mean, the cameras see literally everything. There's the thermal imaging, as previously mentioned. But I just we just thought if we got the guy to get dirt in his pocket, take the dirt out of his pocket, put the dirt on the ball, that nobody noticed that he'd put the dirt on the ball. Like nobody there or the, the thousands of people in the stands would have noticed with binoculars and cameras. <laughs> did, did the umpire's a job there to make sure there's no cheating. We just thought they wouldn't notice. <laughs> we get paid a lot of money. We probably get paid a half a million dollars for this. <laughs> But we thought we didn't, because we could have hit the ball. We thought just people well, wouldn't notice. Well, some of us are, so we have there's different skills, obviously. Yeah, right. <laughs> some, some throw the ball, some catch the ball. Catch the ball, ball catching guys. <laughs> we just didn't think anybody would catch the ball being tampered with. <laughs> Apparently. We're role models. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently we're role models. Anyway. Anyway, I'm really excited for whatever that is. <laughs> okay. Some Sean Horrigan says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod, topic suggestion, best worst non-zombie pandemic movies. So we talked about this. Yeah. And I don't want to watch 10 pandemic movies no. next week. And Absolutely not, no. Where everything's always the yeah. worst. When it's in the clear, I could, yeah. I, I could come back to this, uh-huh. but I don't want to watch Contagion again yeah. and whatever. But it's Children of Man, I feel. And, which is, oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's that movie's great. I haven't watched it in a while, but I mean, that movie... That movie it kind of feels like now yeah. in the sense that the world is ending. The world's not ending. Just yeah. FYI for everybody. Just, 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 just everybody calm down. Yeah. Everyone relax. Imagine Toe pop style. As you said that, somebody picked up a chair to throw through a shop window. <laughs> and then, the, oh, like, wait. Oh, wait. No. oh, but what a soundtrack. The Weekly Planet podcast. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's a world in which there's a bit of strife. Yeah. Everyone's in a bit of strife. But everybody still has to do go, to, do, go, to, go to work, work and... and Go to cafes and live their yeah. life as if there isn't trouble. But again, this this isn't what what is happening now isn't that bad. It's no. it's if we all just wash yes. your hands, wash your hands and keep away Stay from old people. Yeah. Uh, you should be fine. Exactly. I Which mean, is my bloody day to day. Am I right? <laughs> Avoiding the bloody in laws. Oh, the bloody right, in laws. That's right. Thank that's you. right. So it's everybody loves Raymond over in your house. Oh, you know it is. They're, mate. Always, they're always sticking their hands through your <laughs> mail slot. I don't have a mail slot. No, my dad cut one into my. Door. <laughs> with an axe? Yeah, you just yeah, the you just shining cut, style. Just cut the bottom half of the door oh, yeah. off with an axe. What uh, what else you got? Uh, this is from Zach Dillard. Mm-hmm. Uh, reverse flash is the subject line here. For the past yearish, I've been listening to the podcast in reverse order, starting with episode two eighty five and ending as of today with episode one. It was a pleasure witnessing the decreasing sound quality, progression from disappointment to optimism regarding <laughs> BBS, and the sudden burst of reoccurring Shia LaBeouf news. Uh, of the many memorable and hilarious moments, the one that stuck with me most is James' rant about local government. That was... Love the podcast, Kerry, but kept up the great work. Well, thank like you for listening, seven Zach. seven years ago, though, uh, yeah. Due to my listening method, l- roughly 1.3 episodes a day in reverse, I was wondering if I could be the official reverse flash of the podcast. Absolutely, Absolutely you can. Just yeah. want to point out, the point of the reverse flash isn't that he runs backwards. It's that his suit is yellow. And that's, the, and that's, <laughs> that's exclusively the, the only difference. Right. <laughs> well, we don't know what he's wearing. That's he's a good listening. point. Maybe yeah. he's wearing some yellow Jimmy Jams. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you're very welcome. Uh, Charles LaBeouf, he's back, baby, yeah. you know, in some ways. Uh, he was uh, on Hot Ones quite recently. He was. He's got a movie out called Honey Boy, which yeah, is which apparently directed, very good. Which is about, about him and his dad. Yeah. And, yeah. No, I do want to watch that. And another thing, is there a second Shia LaBeouf movie out? It doesn't matter. But Actual I hear Honey cannibal Boy. Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> yes. I like that. Oh, he's, uh, uh, yeah. This is from uh, Kyle says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a fantastic 90s comic book movie. I might even say the best one. Do you remember last week we mentioned, like, is there a good one in the 90s? Yeah. We've uh-huh. got some people like The Crow and whatever. Sure, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah, okay, Blade, I guess. Yeah, I agree. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is probably the best one, yeah. in my opinion. It is certainly very accurate to the comic book. Yeah, and, and it, that's and all that matters. Right? Yes. Name another thing that matters. Nothing. You can't. I can't. The world's ending. Let's g- <laughs> grab that chair. <laughs> throw it through a window. It could be yours. It could be someone else's. Is that how you matter. sign off? <laughs> yeah. Grab that chair. Throw it through a window. <laughs> okay. Until the pandemic is over, remember, guys. <laughs> You got anything else or is that it? Uh, uh, this is from Guy Smith. Mm-hmm. Uh, just wondering if you've checked out the show Hunters on Amazon Prime. That's another thing we've yes, got. Yes, I have. What do you think? It's all right. Okay. Then. Yeah, I've, I've heard <laughs> that it's all right. Yeah. Uh, he says, just watching it through currently and it is bloody insane. James, mm-hmm. would you say it's bloody insane? My, I've talked about it more on Suggestible, uh, yes. my other less successful podcast. Mm-hmm. But basically, yes. I it's not historically accurate enough 
to be to be interesting in that aspect. Okay. But it's also not Inglorious Bastards crazy enough to be off the wall. Yeah, right. And it's somewhere in the middle, in the middle and it's not quite doesn't quite come together. Okay, you're right. Also, apparently, I read somewhere that the uh, the t- the timeline doesn't quite work. No, out. none of it does. Yeah, okay, right. and a lot of the like like didn't it, like Pacino should be like it should be set in the nineties. I think if the yeah. ages are to be to be Ooh. exactly who are. Ooh, uh, the Matrix. <laughs> He's getting ready to see the Matrix is lighting <laughs> yeah, up. Right, right. <laughs> Ooh, uh, have you seen the Matrix? <laughs> That's him after he's seen The Matrix. He's wearing a long leather trench coat, little glasses. <laughs> uh, Maybe it's a Matrix within a Matrix, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can't. I've done my one impression for the for the week. You've already, I can't you, do you a Pacino. It doesn't, doesn't, Michael Caine. Doesn't work. I, can, I can only do one a week, yeah. and I'll never be able to do Michael Caine again. That's right. If indeed I could have ever done it before. you got a Michael T- Caine tank. It's like an os. That's right, exactly. <laughs> used it all. You flip up the cover, you push the red <laughs> button, then you can be Michael Caine for a moment. <laughs> that's how he does it. That's a big <laughs> tank, though. Big tank and os. Very big tank. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's the show. I think it we'll is. Take us home. Thank you, everybody, for listening, even in these trying times. We're all going to get through it together. Yeah, I think We've so. We've got much content to get through. Um, Keep your bloody eye out for your neighbours and your loved ones and exactly. check in on people, you know, that's make right. sure they're all right. Exactly. Yeah. But, but but after you've done that, obviously, after mm. you've <laughs> taken care of the well-being of your friends and loved ones and, and neighbours, if you could also tell a friend about them, <laughs> about about the podcast, yeah. that would be great. And once you've once you've tucked your, your elderly neighbour into bed and given them a warm bowl of soup, say, hey, while yes. you're down there in bed, why don't you listen to the Weekly Planet podcast? Uh, why don't you, uh, you subscribe and leave us a nice review, James? Do you have a nice <laughs> review there? I do have a nice review. Uh, I've got a couple here, which I really appreciate. It's from Zach McClay says, five stars. It says, thank you. Just a simple thank you for the podcast. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, another one from uh, Money Maker Mike Eleven says, "Great podcast from two British guys. That's this us. is the best podcast I've ever heard coming out of the UK. They talk comics and movies and sometimes video games, but in their weird British accents. One of these days, I'd love to visit the hometown of Melbourne, right outside of London. Five stars. You can do that in app. Mm. Really helps the show. And also, I'm not just to be uh, our accents aren't weird British accents. They're regular British accents, but I'm eating a chip butty. That's right. While I while I say things, and I'm my mouth is a, is a gape." I'm yes. watching you eat it. Mm. And that's why I sound the way I do. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's how it goes. Jaffa cakes. Jaffa cakes. Mm-hmm. You're going to do this again, are you? Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to repeat all the ones that I said last time because I can't remember any more. Marmite. Chocolate orange. Those 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 chocolate peppermint bars. Mm. Fries. Fries, chocolate peppermint yes, bars. Yes, yes. Yum, yum, yum. Chips and vinegar. Yes. What else? Monster much. I said it last time as well, but I'll say it again. I said it again. That's what it's all about. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, if you'd like to get in contact with us, mm. uh, let us know how your prep is going. Uh, you can go to Weekly Planet Pod at Gmail, at Facebook, at Twitter, at Bandcamp. Yes. Avengers Endgame is up there if you'd like. Uh, just give it a give it a listen, give it a spin. That's right. Uh, let us know uh, that you have with the hashtag, whatever it was that we said. I thought we should maybe do Rise of Skywalker sometime in the near future. Because it's available on It's available. On digital? Yes, on digital. And also I don't want to wait for like the next Star Wars movie. Let's just get it done. <laughs> just get it, just d- get it done. Just get it done. All right, yeah. cool. All right, mm. let's, we'll do a commentary on that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies, if you'd like to chuck in a buck, if we do that commentary, you'll get it early. That's right. You can also have your say on what uh, we talk about some episodes. Well, what I was also going to point out is uh, a lot of our caravan of garbages have been postponed or delayed <laughs> That's or right. cancelled. Now, specific, we have done them, Yes, but a lot of them are like for Mulan. We, yeah. we watched the original Mulan, but it's now it's nobody's can. going to watch that because oh, so, so, new Mulan isn't right. out. So. so what we're doing now is, I'm, I haven't put it up yet, but it will by the time this is, I'm putting up a free-for-all, yeah, right. which is li- it's going to be the high, the ones with the highest amount of likes because you can like people's comments. We'll go into a poll and we'll, we'll, I'll just, we'll, we'll just do we'll whatever watch those. Do. We'll do caravan we, garbage. We'll do I'll commentary. Probably, like, there's some things like I don't want to do any more Dark Universe shit because we just did a bunch of it. <laughs> right. And I don't want to do Star Wars prequels because I'm saving them for when Obi-Wan comes out. All right. But it's pretty much just pick a thing. And we'll okay, do sure, it. we'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want, I was going to like write a list of things that people suggest, but I'm just going to leave it. You want to watch Castaway? Yeah. We didn't talk about that. Tom Hanks and his wife have coronavirus. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> They're fine though. They're doing great, it seems. He did. I knew he did it. I knew it was him the whole time. That caused the he coronavirus. He did it, Mason. Oh my God. It's his Hollywood jet setting and his blood orgies. That would, yeah, that would do it, wouldn't <laughs> it? Yeah. 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 All right, uh, that's it. No, we're gonna, we're gonna, I've got a place oh, sorry. to plug some things. God, Mason, just let me get out of here. Yeah, uh, look. I've got places to be inside my house. That's true. We, we all have places to be inside your house. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, if you want, you can also go to the uh, Amazon affiliate link in our episode description. Uh, if you want to you buy some stuff on Amazon, uh, you could buy a big box set of horrible Contagion movies that make you sad and scared. That's right. Uh, they've, got, they've got Clive Owen's face on them. Mm. He's all, hello. No, he doesn't like He's it. He's eating a chip butty. Yeah, he doesn't like box. it though. He doesn't like it. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can also go to planetbroadcasting.com. You can uh, see all the podcasts on the Planet Broadcasting Network. You can listen to them all, support the shows that got their shows cancelled at the Comedy Festival. Uh, you can also go to the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook group where we've got all kinds of very civil, very nice discussions and yes, funny stuff about right. pop culture and podcasts and all kinds of things. Talk about, uh, recommend, give, give us some recommendations of stuff that you can watch and yeah. listen to while you're uh, maybe on uh, self-isolating. Yeah, ex- absolutely. What do you got? What, what do you got? Do you got? What do you got? Uh, you can also buy some T-shirts on tpublic.com. Just search for The Weekly Planet. Thank you to The Brute and The Basilisk and Rack and for all our musical That's themes. right. I feel like I'm missing something, but that's okay. It's okay, because we'll be back next week, hopefully. What do you mean, hopefully? I'm just Definitely. saying, mate, you never know. Oh, my God. <laughs> you never know. No, we'll be back, of Wait, course. So what's a thing? I'm missing out on a thing. Now I got it all. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> fine. That's, I mean, this is definitely a sign that I'm fine and not sick. Agreed. So don't, don't even worry about it. Exactly. Yeah. All right, guys, see you later. Grab that chair, you guys, <laughs> and throw it through a window. <laughs> See you next week. It's a question at this point. Yeah, that's see true. See you next week. No, definitely see you next week. We'll see. But also grab that jam, you guys. So <laughs> yes. it's tradition. I'll see you next week. Exclamation point. Not question mark. Okay, fine. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want. It's up to you.